Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a lovely day. A dad joke to start us out, courtesy of SRF. Woman walks into the emergency room, sits down in a chair. After a moment of silence, she suddenly shouts, Shouldn't! Minute passes, and she shouts, Can't! Wouldn't! Oughtn't! Could've! Won't! A doctor overhears her shouting, and dashes over to her. Somebody call the maternity ward! This woman is having contractions. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? So many names to say hi to today. How's it going, Zayugo? Kids Ghost, Flannel Violin, Redwinds55. Do you apologize for that? We're like five minutes late today. I had to. I had. I had to. Took took a little bit longer to eat my food because it had to cool down enough. Microwaved it. My leftovers too hot. First world problems, right? Is going, Mr. DNA. Zuthis, the six four ninja. Ziggles, Mr. Mulu Gulu. Hello. Avox. Looks silence. like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. First Dane and folks, welcome on in. We're just saying hi to to people before we get get started. But your timing is impeccable. Good evening, Crit Error. How's it going, Yzerg? Deglan? The Shoveler? Heart of the Cards. How's it going, Faley and Lupak? Hey, uh, imaginary friend. Uchicha 12 many. Seek it a tangent, how's it going? How much ice in my uh, in my water? I don't do any ice, but Commander, regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. Red Beard McGee. Discretion in this matter is expected. Thank you so much for the very generous five gifted subs. Four months of support. We are extremely impressed. And follow me. Thank you so much for those four months as well. Good to see you around, Red Beardy. I've seen seen your name pop up. In moments of generosity across uh, Spire channels all across Twitch. Glad to have you here today. Hey, you quad dragon. Solo player. Ristuna. Wakarana, hello. How's it going, Dragon House? Have a chem fact on me. On the Dragon House. Today's element is Prometheum. It's named after the Greek Titan who stole fire from Zeus and gave it to humanity. Shockingly absent in Hades, though. Um, Prometheum glows in the dark. It's a highly radioactive rare earth element. It's not naturally found anywhere on Earth uh, and is only created as a byproduct of uranium fission reactions. All known isotopes of Prometheum are highly radioactive, with most having a half-life, with the most stable one having a half-life of only 17-ish years. So when it does exist, it doesn't stay around for very long. Today's gray cloud. Hey, do you want to hear a pizza joke? Actually, never mind. It's probably too cheesy. Your criminal piece, E of Pi, hello. Nico Kiko, Don Vito. Hi, villain, you should be able to get a Prime sub out of a free trial of Amazon Prime. I'm pretty sure that works. I'm remembering correctly. Hey, you video game despot. El Ponce de Leon. 
Lost in Fuego. Stream tomorrow? Tomorrow will be, uh, since tomorrow's a Friday, I'm not planning on streaming tomorrow. But we'll be here Saturday, Sunday, and all through until next Friday as well. Every day but Friday, we're here. Hey, you grass giant? I love the shirt too, it's super comfy in addition to having an awesome design on it. Hey, our red winds. Glad you're looking forward to the ladder streak. Oh, Prometheus is in Tartarus. That would make sense. Not imprisoned in the realm of Hades. Do we know if it exists naturally elsewhere in the universe? Good question. Since uranium is naturally occurring... Maybe? Maybe. Why Dragon watch a couple interesting chem videos on YouTube today? I'm sure there's a, a really good wealth of... I've been kind of exploring uh, myself some, some content creators for, like, interesting science tidbits or history tidbits. Um, I've been enjoying uh, Weird Histories videos lately. Not quite what I want out of uh, a little, like, historical snippets, but it's pretty close. Why don't I tell insect jokes? Well, I don't want to bug people. Hey, yep, two blue, one pink. Mafongo Bongo, love the name, by the way. Hello. Twitch forgot my account, good to see ya. Eloise, here's hoping. I was indeed born in Canada, that's right, you Chicha 12 mini. In the city of Edmonton, my hometown. But I live in the United States these days. Go to bed early on Fridays, because there's no stream then. I don't know if I should be honored or concerned, but I'll take it. Oh, nice, Dragon House. Enjoying various video games ever since. Getting back a card with Bronze Automaton with Master Reality in play will upgrade the card. Makes sense. I don't think I've seen that interaction before, but that makes sense. I know that if you store um, a Masterful Stab in a, a, the orb from a Bronze Automaton and you take damage, the cost doesn't go up. It's Canada, not Cantata. Oh dear. Oh dear. What sort of history am I interested in? Unusual history is, I, I think, I, where I would describe Commander, my interest. One of our most valued Moments in time where... Says continued support of the XCOM project. Something went really, really sideways, resulting in something unusual happening, or uh, somebody did did something that was extraordinary um, for the time. Um, quick little, quick little example is the the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist uh, about about a decade ago. A series of thefts caused like millions of gallons of the Canadian Strategic Maple Syrup Reserve, because that's of course a thing, um, were pilfered by some dudes in a truck. They like sneaking it away slowly and slowly. Apparently one of the most valuable heists in Canadian history, which of, and of course it would be. <laughs> oh, Canada. No, not a, not a dad joke setup. Actually, a real thing that happened in Canada. <laughs> Actually, a real thing. Hey, a chrono and a rocket. Hello, hello. I am a little lost, but fortunately, my shirt does have my home address written on it. Hello and welcome, Adorkable and folks. Great to have so many people tuning in right at the start of stream today.
Did they fence it or just eat a whole lot of pancakes? I don't think they got to the point where they would actually turn it into money. Uh, I, I believe the, the maple syrup was, was recovered before they were managed to, like, do something with it. I don't know what they meant to, uh... Don't know what the intended purpose for it was. So if you weren't around for yesterday's stream, we had a series of pretty excellent runs. Uh, Watcher struggled a little bit going into... That's right, we had a we had a Conjure Blade that we bought a Chemical X for at the very end. And we were able to use that to perfect the heart, thanks to Frozen Eye, which we picked up early in this run. And I predicted that this would make it easier to reliably set up powerful turns. It would give us security in knowing when we had outs to our wrath and would make our scrying more powerful, and our scrawl in particular. We had a scrawl that we picked up very early on, I think that was our starting bonus. No, it was on floor 3 we picked up the scrawl. And that plus the frozen eye ended up being very, very strong. Extra history, particularly the South Sea Bubble might be of interest. The time that England invented financial crimes. Oh, I think I heard something about that. Uh, kind of similar to the, the tulip thing with the Dutch, but not quite. I think so there's well wishes, Nico Kiko. Turns out Tungsten Rod's good. It is. It is. Since an 18 is always defect, not since we've been rotating the starting class, but um, this this current streak started on silent, which is what we've traditionally done. Uh, and that makes the final silent run the Ascension 17 one. So we are actually done with silent. Only three runs remain. One defect, one... Watcher and one Ironclad for a hypothetically successful ladder streak here. The silent was pretty great. We we, we transformed a strike into a malaise plus on floor twenty one, and that was that was pretty much the theme of this run. Was hey, did you know that it's really powerful if your cards are upgraded for free? Because it's really powerful when your cards are upgraded for free. <laughs> I wouldn't get ahead of myself just yet, Flute Buddy. We've got, Flute Buddy, we have three runs to go, and I we've we've been this high in the ladder, I think three times now, without success. So we'll see, we'll see. I am cautiously optimistic. For where Faley lives, we've got an annual makeup maple syrup-centered season. Where you put go to small cabins in the wood, eat salted eat salted things, crepes, sausages, and most notably, you pour maple syrup on snow and scoop it up and with a stick and eat eat the snow that is now covered in maple syrup. Uh, well, obviously, that's just that's just efficient right there. You got to cut out all the calories that aren't the maple syrup, so you can have a completely maple syrup diet. It's perfect. Perfect. Hey, a gin fizzes. Problems IRL. Hello, hello. This ironclad run. This ironclad run. We had to recall. <laughs> 35 out of 100 health. Thanks to Pandagraph, we had 60 health going into Donu Deca. Took 72 damage of our 60 hit points. Um, had to chug a regen potion, and we barely scraped by Donu Deca. Barely scraped by Spe Sheer and Spield, and then Shield and Spear. Um, and picked up a Dark Embrace at the last possible moment that allowed us to beat the heart. Hopefully we don't have anything that close today, but we'll see. We'll see. Shield and Spill, that's right. That's right. Alrighty. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous right now, but... Let's dive on into it. Run Summary does not show the starting bonus, unfortunately. So there's a little bit of, uh... There's a little bit of room for improvement on the, the run history, but I think it's pretty good. This guy wants another dad joke. Before we get started. You know... I was trying to come up with some math jokes 
for the stream. But the problem with math puns is that all the calculus jokes are too derivative. The trigonometry jokes are all too graphic. The algebra jokes are too formulaic. And the arithmetic jokes are just too basic. But there might be room for the occasional statistics joke. That would be an outlier, I think. Hey, Blagor, I did see that relics extension. Um, I'm cautiously intrigued by it. Have, haven't made the choice to uh, try it myself yet, but I, I might be doing that at some point. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a dad joke with a rhetorical question? <laughs> I should never upset with a hundred gold start, especially with early shops available. I'm immediately inclined to do that. Um, early elites or bust is the name of the act. Ooh, I like the back half of this act. If we can survive this, be in good shape. So I'm thinking we start here, take a couple card awards, look at how we're doing on this floor. If we feel okay about a potential elite, we go this way. If we don't, we can bail out and delay a little bit. But with uh, 200 gold in a shop, we should be able to make something happen. Choosing a colorless card is pretty much always a non-starter. Transform 2 and Boss Relic are potentially, like, optimal, right? Like, we, Transform 2 could be Bias Cog plus Courser, John Floor 1, but we have no way of knowing. No way of knowing that we'll get anything good. But I think I'll take the 100 gold, and that can at least let me buy potions and stuff. Here on Ascension 18, elites have more challenging movesets and abilities, so we are facing the full might of empowered elites here in the Spire. But Hexaghost will be easy, at least. Have I gotten that particular combination Commander, as a starting bonus? I don't think so. Our briefs have recently I don't think so. Been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. Video Game Despot, thanks so much for gifting a sub to... Uh, Adam Penguin, Yzerg, and... Zegazoo, welcome everybody to the council. Enjoy the uh, emotes, the community, and of course, the newfound smug senses of superiority. Let's check something real quick. We are, like, 30 subpoints away from a new emote slot. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, <clears throat> uh, who asked? Somebody asked a question about Transform. SRF wants to know, isn't Transform two removals and two random good cards? It's two random cards. I wouldn't necessarily call them good. We did a Transform 2 on Silence pretty recently on the ladder. And the two random cards we got on Silent were Escape Plan, Phantasmal Killer. In exchange for two of our strikes. Um, which resulted in us fighting a Lagavulin on floor 6 and dropping down to two hit points. Put us in a really, really precarious starting situation. And while the Transform ultimately did prove pretty good in the long run, in the short run a Transform 2 can be very, very risky. Elkinson wants a chem fact about Promethium before we get started here. When Dmitry Mendeleev organized what is now known as the Periodic Table, he left gaps for unknown elements based on a variety of properties. In 1902, a scientist by the name of Boleslav Brauner expanded on Mendeleev's table and created places for newly discovered elements that didn't fit on the original table. One such space was Element 61, now known as Prometheum, which lies between Neodymium and Samarium. It took a long time before the from the prediction of Prometheum, since it's a highly radioactive, never naturally found element. It took a really long time to actually uh, synthesize and prove the existence of. I don't like in the Transform 2 or Boss Relic, they are higher... Higher risk things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the hundred gold. I like I like the consistency 
that that might be offering here. Ooh. This is a dual cast, and we might be taking out the Spike Slime first here. Nope. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually gonna... We're speedrunning recently. In order to force myself to play at a reasonable pace, uh, I'm gonna reboot Spire in a second here. With V-Sync enabled so that my lightning animations are slower and stuff. Steam Barrier Turbo Sweeping Beam. Winning Hexaghost. I'm reasonably okay with the Sweeping Beam. The nice little common attack. Do some AoE. Draw a card. How'd they know to leave gaps on the periodic table? The elements in the periodic table are organized by um, their electron structure, or their their proton and electron structure. Um, and they're also grouped in columns or rows depending on their chemical and physical properties, with elements that have similar properties being grouped together. Um, and these two factors allowed for the prediction of numerous elements uh, before their actual discovery, first by Dmitry Mendeleev in his original periodic table, and then later by other scientists as we expanded upon it. Does the speedrunning setup make multicasting plasma orbs faster, or is it still slow as heck? It is faster, but not that fast. Faster, but not that fast. Is, uh, where we're at. So, I'm gonna save and quit here real quick, just reboot Spire. Make sure the continue button's available. And we'll get going into our run here. Yeah, Karog Czar. You know, Baylor, boo for the dad jokes. Boo this man! Boo. Alright, where were we? That's right, we were sweeping beaming the heck out of everybody. We could do sweeping beam, defend, defend, take nothing. Sets us up for a pretty good turn. We could also dual cast. We'd have to hit both. No, just sweeping beam and defend, defend here. Nice to draw the Ascender's Bane too. Okay, I was worried we might get attacked by both of them. Just take three here. Get through the fight pretty easily, hoping for a potion now. Nope. Ooh, good block cards though. Love me equilibrium, love me some reinforced body. Reinforced scales really well into the late game with um, more energy or dexterity. Equilibrium is giving you retain, which can set up some pretty successful turns, especially as we add zero cost cards like Claw or Beam Cell or Go for the Eyes to the deck. Was our whale bonus was 100 gold. Robin Trillions, 100 gold. Take an Equilibrium. I think I value the retain more right now, and I need something with immediate impact to beat these elites. Hmm. 150 gold could make that store pretty impactful. We'd have to spend 75 of it on a removal. But it could set us up better later. Hmm. Push, push us over the threshold to afford a rare relic. Which is important. It'll let us buy, like, a common card and two potions and a removal. And I can't realistically remove a strike anyway. Yeah, we should take this. Commander, one of our Scruffus, thank you so much for the nine months. Valued. Switch Prime support. Says continued support of the XCOM project. Very greatly appreciated. Hey, I like this store. I like this store a lot. A lot of good things in this store.
including a delicious waffle. Which is actually quite quite impactful right now. Um, this is 18 additional hit points. Which is not to be sneezed at. Let me see my receipt for not clicking on the defrag yet. I'm trying to figure out what exactly I do want here. I'm almost assuredly buying at least one potion. I'm gonna buy Defragment. I'm probably gonna take Tempest to go with. I'm probably gonna take Melter too. Um, so that probably means we can't buy the Waffle, right? If I go Tempest, Melter, Tempest, Defragment, Remove the Curse, and Distilled Chaos. How much money is that gonna be? 42 plus 86 plus 85 plus 75 plus 79. 367, so that's actually basically all of our money. And then just verify that I want it distilled chaos and not liquid memories. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't want strike dummy for 274. It would be pretty nice. Actually, strike strike dummy card remove might be shockingly okay here. I do this though. All right, elite. Not gremlin knob. Good. Very good. Actually, not. I think Legavulin's even the best here. Can patiently wait for uh, Tempest. Avoid waking this nerd up. Let me go, Melter Tempest, and we're having a good time. Um, do I want to sacrifice three damage to use Sweeping Beam to draw the strike? Maybe. Then we're more likely to draw Equilibrium next turn. Do that. And if I don't draw any good blocks, I'm going to Distilled Chaos here. Nope, we drew good blocks. So I know exactly what I'm going to hit with the Soul Chaos. Do I need to do that? We're doing 12 damage per turn with these Lightning Orbs. Um, so that's going to be 36 damage before we get attacked the next time. Which means we have to do... 38 damage with attacks over the next... Three turns. Full blocking this turn, pretty much. Uh, we can probably bail out with the Dissolve Chaos next turn. I'm just gonna try to save this potion. Only theoretically saving me five health. Very smooth first elite, and we get a potion belt, which is great, giving us additional potion slots. And we're offered a machine learning, which I kind of like. Extra card draw every turn, compared to two fairly crap cards in Recursion Scrape here. Not to beat around the bush too much. <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan of them. With these potions, we should be good to fight another elite, so I'm going to upgrade Defragment and we're going to go for another one. And then we might end up resting. Love Recursion Plus, are you wrong? Nope. I wouldn't call you wrong whatsoever. Recursion Plus can be a, a great way to dish out some damage or gain some block, depending on whether you've got a Frost or Lightning or about. Better with Focus, which we do have. Right now, it's mostly functionally equivalent to a Zap, though. And the upgraded version is basically the same as Zap, right? We only ever have Lightning Orbs. Take this machine learning. I'm gonna upgrade Defragment. Remember when Defrag was two focus base? I do not remember that. 
That sounds... strunk. Okay, do I want to still chaos on turn one? Probably on turn two, right? Hey, Lambicant. Good evening to you as well. Oh, I am definitely still chaosing now. Absolutely. If we hit Tempest, it gets played for three energy. Without actually costing us any energy. And we could get Equilibrium in play for free as well. Nice. Very nice. I think I don't need any more potions now. That was just good. So I'm gonna go Zap Melter Machine Learning? Or do I Sweeping Beam to try to draw this defend? I don't think so. We get to retain the Sweeping Beam. We do end up uh, shuffling without it, which is a little bit awkward. direct the damage there rather than getting a third lightning arm. Hopefully this lets us get a kill this turn. Perfect. Take 10, but we should be good from here on out. Commander, one of our most valued supporters. Says continued Martin P, the thank you so much for the project. eight months of tier one support. If only the sub was measured in Baylor math. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, good start. Excellent. Fossilized Helix prevents the first time we would lose health each combat. Massively, massively powerful relic, especially on Defect, who really appreciates the free setup. Essence of Darkness, arguably one of the strongest potions in the game. I've often had this make the difference against the Spire Elites or against the Heart, and being able to carry it all the way to the end of the game is totally possible thanks to Potion Belts. Um, and I love this bullseye, amplifying our lightning orb damage by quite a bit with the lock-on debuff. Lots and lots of damage. That's going to help us beat Hexaghost quite handily. Helps shred through artifact and applies immediate damage. It's great. Could see Hello World being okay here as well, but definitely going to take bullseye. Definitely going to take bullseye. So do we not need to rest now? I don't think so. I guess we get to see what's in the chest first. Nunchaku. Every time we play 10 attacks, gain an energy. Not amazing or anything, but we have attacks to the deck. It will literally do things. Meet some frost soon. We truthfully don't until after Hexaghost, I don't think. The Equilibrium Plus will go a long way towards keeping us alive. And so will the Helix. So will the Helix. Let's, let's pick up the Nunchuck here. Just get some more immediate value here. I'm pretty pretty decently happy with this relic most of the time. Um, This is going to be an easy pool combat, right? We had... Yeah, we ate the donut, and then we got cursed by Serpent. Actually, the other way around. So we have had only two combats this act so far. So it's gonna be an easy pull fight, and that means I definitely don't need to rest. Definitely don't need to rest. Any chance I can speed run the last two ascensions? I unfortunately cannot make any such promises. No, I, I cannot offer that, I'm afraid. As much as I would like to. We upgrade, uh, uh, my initial upgrade instinct is the Tempest here, just to get one more Lightning Orb when we play it. We could upgrade Zap for a similar reason, especially with the machine learning. The Zap upgrade might prove better than the Tempest upgrade in any fight that goes longer than, like, two turns. Which is not notably Hexaghost. But would be worse if we get a Sineko Eye. And they're kind of the same otherwise. Let's upgrade the Tempest first. So, situation like this, normally we'd be wasting our time playing two stinky defends against Jawworm, but thanks to Helix, we can just tank that hit to the face. 
like a boss. Would Chemex be a good consideration? At this point, it would be worth thinking about. Do we want a claw, a blizzard, or a fusion? Not particularly. Well, the fusion is the closest to being good here. Pairs well with machine learning, but doesn't pair well with focus. Claw is like a completely tangential way for us to do damage. It does pair nicely with uh, Nunchaku, though. Fusion and Tempest have some interaction, though I'd, I'd just rather have a turbo. Just rather have a turbo. Deparo! Did you know that the first successful identification and separation of Prometheum, Element 61, was done in 1945 by researchers working on the Manhattan Project in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, during their studies in creating a fuel for an atomic bomb? They were able to identify Prometheum-147 in the by byproducts of some uranium fission. The name... There's, uh, their results were confirmed by using a mass spectrometer and were published in 1947, delayed two years by their involvement in the World War II research efforts, right? The whole thing was classified, so they couldn't actually share this discovery until after the war was over. The name Prometheum was suggested and the name was formally adopted by the International Union of Chemistry, in 1949. Here's the Nabo. Oh, Defragment Tempest on turn one. I think that means we get to keep our potions today. Org indeed. So this will be seven times three. We're doing all the damage. All the damage. I think I just strank over playing uh, machine learning here. And then we avoid playing any more attacks to get an Unchaku value in the next fight. Am I gonna play FTL again anytime soon? I've been thinking about it. I would like to I would like to do some more FTL somewhat soon. Well, we wanted Frost. Here is a Frost Orb. We could also go for more focus with Consume. Consume is a very powerful card that I've been I've been wondering more and more if I should be taking it more aggressively. Same Prometheum they used to cleanse Xenos in 40k. No. <laughs> Tis not. It's less burny and more radioactive. Pirate Panda! Last... Prometheum fact for the day, and the majority of Prometheum is used for research purposes and doesn't have many other uses because of its extremely high radioactivity and very limited supply, but there are a couple uh, non-research uses. One such use was as a power source for medical devices. A design patented in the 1970s used Prometheum-147 as a power source for a cardiac peacemaker. Uh, and this design was successfully implanted in over a hundred patients. Let's go with Cool Headed here. And I think that makes me want to upgrade Zap more now that we have even more card draw. Let's get that upgraded. That's what I would have thought too, Mofongo Bongo, is that that, you know, deliberately introducing something incredibly radioactive to uh into the into the body of a you know a patient would have some sort of detrimental side effect but I, I guess if it's contained it doesn't emit gamma radiation I think it's uh I think it's a beta emitter but if it's if it's contained in the device properly it can be a nice little power source yes we don't use it much these days Loving these potions. Loving these potions. Let's see, if I dual cast, this will be 12 times 2. 24. 
so we'll knock it down to 31 health, and that would be a split. It would be a bad split, so I'm not going to do it. I refuse! See how smooth everything goes with the fossilized helix? Loop! Giving us another orb scaling power. I mean, absolutely, probably, although the turbo and the hologram are also both very good. Can I teach you about thorium nuclear reactors? That could be a fun one to uh, to do for Chemfax someday. I could see myself doing some research for that. Let's take and upgrade this loot before Hexaghost. We should be pretty good against Hexaghost with uh, 31 hit points here and these potions. I dare say we'll, we'll find it pretty successful. Barring truly bad draws, I am going to use the Strength Potion though, just for a little bit of more of a kick. Um, especially considering our opening draw was really subpar here. not doing much for us here. That's alright. Once we get the Frost Orb down, we should be pretty safe. Machine Learning. So that these are the three cards I play next turn. Actually, that's going to result in some damage. I might have to use the Energy Potion next turn. Real talk. I think that I do. Feeling like we've got a very good setup here, so I'm going to be pretty aggressive with the potion use. Let's get a Frost Orb in front for next turn. Uh, change my mind. Incremented the Nunchaku a little bit more there. That worked out pretty well. Ooh. Some very interesting options here. Multicast evokes our next orb X times, allowing us to turn a lot of energy into a lot of damage, or a lot of block potentially. Amplify can let us play a power card twice. We already have three powers in the deck. Machine Learning, Defragment, and Loop. Those could all be pretty powerful, letting us duplicate the most important scaling cards that we have. Or Seek, putting a card from the draw pile into our hand, letting us get our important powers down quickly. Letting us deal damage quickly, letting us save our Helix. And I'm actually really torn between Amplify and Seek. Amplify is a very powerful scaling option, especially in a deck that's got a machine learning. We have extra card draw, and that makes Amplify quite a bit better. Feels like we still need more Frost Orbs. At the, the place the deck is right now, I'm, I'm leaning a bit more towards the Seek. But this is a tough call. Hey, Ranger Elm. If I pick Amplify, I'll get a Pyramid for sure. You promise? That'd be real nice. I'm worried about our turn one, turn two. Seek really helps with that. Take a seek here. 
Didn't take the, uh, didn't take the Amplify, so I didn't get the Pyramid. Got some great offerings here. Shame no, uh, shame we didn't take Consume. Because there is an Inserter here. Every two turns, gain one Orb slot, and that's pretty cool. Busted Crown gives us an energy at the start of our turn, but future card rewards has less cards to choose from. You'd have to have a pretty secure deck to feel comfortable with that. I'm not exactly thrilled. But what about Pandora's Box? Transform all of our strengths and defense. We have four of each. Every single starter card is still in the deck because we spent our spent our Act 1 uh, screwing around with the Serpent Head, dude. A lot of times the big fear with the Pandora's box is that you lose all your block. But we have a fossilized helix. So we don't care as much if we don't draw any block cards on turn one. I think Pandora's is usually very, very strong, and we're definitely in a position where for it to be like extra good. I'm going to take it here. We get... <laughs> wow! We get this set of cards. This is why we take Pandora's. Holy moly. Electrodynamics and three, count them, three ball lightnings to go with it. And a reprogram that we have to remove. But, you know, the other stuff. It's good. It's good. Definitely an improvement. Genetic Algorithm, also a sweet bonus. But hot dang are those some sweet cards. Some strikes replaced with ball lightnings. Oh my. Oh my. Alright, well I'd say we're pretty competent at Act 2 Elite Fighting. Am I competent enough to fight three of them without going to a store? know that I'm that good at it. I really want to remove the reprogram. Definitely don't block that well until the algorithm levels up a bit. I do want to be taking combats. Somewhat. Could think about fighting Burning Elite, although it's it's missing so much compared to this route or this route. Let's hit up this event square and see how we're doing. So do I take three events or only two? Be a hard pool fight? I really want to do a hard pool fight? Let's avoid a hard pool fight for now. Hey, Buffer! Good to see you, friend. Glad you're here. So glad you're here. So here's the tricky part. We have to actually kill this thing. Or it hurts us too much. the zap for next turn to use with the melter. Uh, do I have a kill? Becomes the current question. With like melter, bullseye, zap, tempest? So Melter puts it to 64, Bullseye would then be 56, and we have Lock On. And then each Lightning Orb is going to do 12. So I can do an additional many. An additional many damages. I don't think that's enough. Only channel three lightning orbs. 
We'd evoke two, dealing uh, 24 damage and then an additional 12 for 36. Plus 18, not enough. Not enough damage to kill. Did I kill with the strength potion? Potentially. Uh, how much how much was that? 36 plus 18. Is 54. 64 with the flex pot. Still not enough. Could maybe get there with a dark orb, but that's not gonna happen. Would rather just take the damage. I'd rather just hologram the equilibrium and play those two right now. That's the play. I think that's the play. Third of zap. Got all four of them. It's the Frost Orb in front, too, so we have more block on this turn. Can consume down, take two more, and be done taking damage here? Or can I... can I flawless this fight if I go, like... Melter dual cast. kill it. Actually, if I evoke this, I'm only going to take one. That'll be better. Then this should be a kill. Okay. A little bit painful, but not too bad. Teal's nice with the nunchaku. Does a little bit of damage, draws a card... Nothing fancy, but helps a little bit. Hello world. A little slow. A little slow. And aggregate is cute, but not actually helpful. Remove a card from my deck. Goodbye, reprogram. Nice knowing you. See you later. Relic for a curse. Curse would be 100 to remove at the shop. Would I remove anything else at the shop if I had the opportunity to? Mm, probably not the consume. Just about everything in the deck is functional at this point. <laughs> Sneaky Teak. We got all three of these from the Pandora's box. All three of them. Actually, maybe now that I got a... Do I think I can go this way? I don't think so. I don't feel that comfortable. I like this way more. Maybe even, like, this way. Hit this elite. Don't go to this shop. So do I want to spend essentially 100 gold on a random relic right now? That's a pretty good deal, right? Buying a specific relic could be more helpful. I want to be able to afford a data disc. I would like to be able to afford an orange pellets or a clockwork souvenir at the store in particular. No, no, no. I'm going to say no to this, and we're going to go to this store. Madly shuffling, cu shuffling cards on a table did not give me a pain. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to decay very much. Thank you. Hologram I would take. I have enough powers. A force field seems good. Cool. Take a force field. That does eventually help with the blocking game. Oh boy, I saved up so we could buy Prismatic Shard. I'm so glad. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be buying that. Um, looking for ways to get stronger in this store, and I did not find them, fortunately. Did not find them. I think I want to upgrade this algorithm so that it levels up faster. I don't gain an orb slot, no. Prismatic Shard does not do that. It only gives you an orb slot if you don't have any. So I'm thinking Block Potion here, and maybe a card removal, maybe a Static Discharge, maybe a Recycle. 
Recycle could be a lot of energy generation with what we've got going on, if I'm willing to upgrade the Recycle. But only if I'm willing to upgrade it instead of gen Genetic Algorithm could we go Recycle Block Potion. Oh. Can Recycle the Force Field for lots of energy? Like, we, yeah, that Recycle's too strong. That recycle's way too strong. The not take. Especially if I upgrade the seek. Oh, it's you jerks. I see. Seems like a pretty good use of our flex potion here. We can do at least an additional 15 damage to the back line. May need to do more things. Probably gonna recycle the consume? Really looking for... Electrodynamics in the near future. Hey, I found it. So we can play the whole hand now. Is that going to be enough? It's going to be... That. Might actually just take the seven. Looks good though. So this will evoke for eight plus nine, seventeen, so I do have to hit you one more time. Cool. So block potion currently saving seven health. We can usually get more than seven health out of a block potion, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay, I'd like to kill the front line this turn. If possible. Uh, probably gonna hologram a ball lightning. I think we go sweeping beam. Uh, I would have to defragment, hologram the ball lightning, play it, then play sweeping beam. If we play ball lightning, it's gonna be what? Five base damage? Yeah, five base damage plus Another 10 to all. I can actually ball lightning you. Is there any way I can avoid taking any damage? And yeah, if I want to use the energy, I have to not play the defragment. That's kind of weird. In that case, it would be 8 AoE, plus 5 is 12, plus 15, still, still a kill. Still a kill. Could also just not use the Nunchaku. Could try to draw something with FTL. Drawing Algorithm or Equilibrium would be helpful. see a lot of options that are better than just taking the five, though. Let's see what beam draws. it be eight plus fifteen, so we can hit you. Five. Hopefully draw algorithm here. Nice. Good. Pretty good slaver's fight. I'm very happy with that. I'm also very happy with, well, reasonably happy with Centennia Puzzle. First time we lose health each combat, draw three. That is, well, second time that we would lose health each combat.
And there's a glacier, which I'm going to click on. Hooray, we have glacier now. Cool. Seems good to me. Still three good potions, so we should be able to tackle another elite before Bronze Automaton. Might have to rest, but we're feeling good right now. Feeling good right now. Not feeling good about this turn. Might result in me taking 11. Maybe this is our block pot. Take the block pot. I don't want to take 11. You can't make me. Guess wrong. Oh yeah. Perfect. I think. All right, dual cast glacier. We pretty much full block. Means we don't get the electro down. That's reasonable. Otherwise, I have to electro. I could dual cast electro. That's not going to kill anybody though. What if I bullseye electro? We deal 20 plus, we take six in that case. Pretty sure I can kill them both. Did not draw recycle, interesting. Both getting away next turn, but I have I have <laughs> I'm gonna kill them both next turn really easily. So we could do this. How many times is a mugger attack before they smoke bomb away? It's either two or three, randomly. Either two or three randomly. Second hologram feels pretty good with a recycle. I think I like that more than I like the Doom and Gloom or the Rip and Tear. Like, great offensive cards, but we have good offensive cards. We have three ball lightnings and electrodynamics. Take the hologram here. Options open. Juzu bracelet. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Not thrilled by a Juzu, quite frankly. Not thrilled. So, probably an easy blue key. I'm planning on fighting another elite. I'm gonna try, anyway. That... Mm, oh boy. Oh dear. Oh no! Instant regret. Well, we can still abort. Okay, that's fine. That is a really, really bad turn one draw here. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. battery even better. Although consume plus is like kind of cool. We, we have a consume. We can just upgrade the one we have. Fighting either Book of Stabbing or Gremlin Leader. I have a Gambler's Brew. I'm going to take the fight. Ooh, more frost orbs too. Shame we can't get the gold plated gables. Shame we can't get the gold plated gables. But have I considered a fire? Thought about it a little bit. It has been briefly considered. Probably gonna go with 
cool-headed because of the recycle in the deck over a cold snap here. Although with the nunchaku, the cold snap is tempting. Static discharge increasingly tempting as well. But I like cool-headed in a weak pot just to make sure we don't die to that elite. It is a Grimmel Leader. We're not dying on turn one. That's good. Uh, we actually want to kill the fat gremlin? The old ball lightning, ball lightning, machine learning. Absorb this hit. Wasted my nunchaku a little bit there. There was a chance we actually uh, killed there, too. Don't you dare. No. Bad Grimmel Leader. No. 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 Gotta guarantee that Sneaky dies. This. Bad Grim Leader. Very bad. I want to get uh, Electro in play, that's right. Yeah. Seek for Recycle, Recycle... Let's get rid of Melter here, Hologram, Electro, and play it. Then the next wave of Gremlin should be easy to manage. The consume from Pandora's Box. It, yes, it is. That's why we haven't upgraded it yet. We've got a lot of stuff from Pandora's Box that's doing pretty good at the moment. Good. Omamori negates our next two curses, blessing the forge to upgrade everything in our hand, and I'm really, really, really in favor of a zero-cost block card in Steam Barrier Plus. Let's put that into the deck, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Are you practicing ladder safety? Don't make me come down there. Don't make me come down there. Uh, we already played algorithm right, right, so I could just play this and win. Essence of Darkness. Interesting. Very interesting. See, that's pretty good. Let's skip these cards. Are you following me around? Feel like I've seen you before, sir. Hey Firex, glad you've been enjoying the letter streak yourself. It's a really fun way to uh really fun way to play the game. I think. Does he only sell static discharge? He does. If I didn't have four good potions, I'd probably pick up the focus pot as it stands. I guess we're just gonna say goodbye. I was really hoping for a way to use a memory here. I like these potions a lot. I think I do want to rest before the Bronze Automaton fight. I don't have the ability to guarantee that I can buffer Hyper Beam with a Fossilized Helix. I can try with the potions, but I can't guarantee it.
I've seen a lot of folks uh, flow trying ladder challenges just with one character, the character they're best at. Certainly it's entirely reasonable to, if there's one character that you struggle with, to rotate with the others. Um, or to use it as an opportunity to force yourself to improve with uh, your weakest one. That's definitely what I'm using it for, I think, as a way to help improve our defect play. Lowest Ascension, I've died on the ladder challenge right at the bottom. We have died on Ascension Zero before. That has happened. Sacrifice a card draw. Oh yeah, let's do Machine Learning Glitch. Machine Learning Turn 1 is great. Gonna help uh, ensure that I can maybe block stuff. Maybe a little bit. So what I was talking about, not being able to guarantee that we do the thing. block this? Maybe we just don't need to. I'm thinking about using Blessing of the Forge here to get uh, both Consume and Electro and Dual Cast upgraded. Consume in particular would be a good upgrade and a good play here. I have a Nunchaku at 9. is relevant, a little bit. You can also just Gambler's Brew. Looking to draw into... Field. I want to get down one of these two at the very minimum. I think I should just accept that we're losing buffer here. And we have ways to block Hyper Beam. Rested after all. Hologram consume, or I can just keep playing attacks. Just keep smashing them. Though, equilibrium for. Actually, equilibrium for force field next turn is going to be good. Hello. Power cards, are you there? Surely you must be, right? That a little bit wrong. Yep, totally that wrong. Okay, Hyper Beam is next turn and we can retain some really good stuff here. Recycling. Is it, uh, is it Glacier or Consume? I think it's gonna be Glacier. Begin. 
Now we can recycle consume. Now that we've used it one time. Zip zoop. Zippity bop. GG. GG. Buffer Fission Creative AI. Wow. Fission is very good in this deck. Even without an upgrade. Just lets us draw more cards and gain more energy. We have Orb Generation for days in this deck. So we're always going to have stuff to get rid of and always going to have stuff to regenerate. Could get additional scaling out of Creative AI or the Buffer as well. We do currently lack orb slots. Kind of. Yeah. Commander, one of our From most valued supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM Thank you project. so much for the 17 heckin' months. Almost a year and a half. The double sub baby. I'll take this fission. And that definitely makes me like a nuclear battery. Start of each combat, channel one plasma. That's energy on turn one or turn two when we need it most. We could take a coffee dripper for energy every turn, but being unable to rest with a regal pillow, a little bit scary. What cards do we still need to beat the hearts? I would like to add to this, realistically, like... One capacitor, maybe an echo form. We do have a memory, so we could take Calling Bell and not get a curse, just get three random relics. We need to be able to make more stuff happen on turn one or two. I like this, I like this nuclear battery. Let's take it. Being able to evoke this on turn one for two energy, or keep it around for a little bit longer. Either option feels great to me here. Okay, we do have to take out the Burning Elite. We're looking to potentially fight a lot of Elites this act, and I am not actually sure how well prepared we are for all of that, but we're gonna find out the hard way here. Looks like shops are potentially... we can get to this shop. Not a lot of fires, though. Does make me wish we'd taken the Coffee Dripper. Certainly I will be grateful for the fossilized helix. Definitely grateful for it right now. Definitely grateful for it right now. Maybe not my favorites. Puzzle's so good, though. There's algorithm. Come at the thingamajiggy. Stilled Chaos, play the top three cards of the draw pile, very good. I also like Go for the Eyes a lot. The enemy intends to attack, apply one week. Goes great with our artifact removal that we already have from, uh... Whatchamadoodle. Yeah, fission, fission feeling good now. Unfortunate that we're one block short of actually full blocking here. So we do lose the buffer charge, but we're set up enough that we should be fine in this fight. Smiley face. One, two, three, four, five. 
Five energy I'm gonna spend, so I hologram force field and recycle it. Yes. Play everything else. Consistently under blocking by one. Kind of rude. Good fights, though. Thanks to all that. Two more combats. Okay. I'm gonna take a really quick break here. Stretch my legs or refill my water. Just clear my head. We're getting into the difficult third act of the game here in earnest. I want to make sure I'm at my best. So, I will be right back. When I return, we'll fight Transient. Let's see how that goes. See you all in just a couple moments. Thank you so much in advance for the patience. Alright everybody, we are back. Thank you so much for the patience. Let's take stock of what we've got going on here. Transit shouldn't be too bad for this deck, I don't think. At 
Feels like I want to play my Fission just to get more cards out. Or we could even Equilibrium the Fission. That might even be better. Just hold on to it for a turn. Since we don't actually need it this turn. To... Block for us. Oh, I could have kept the uh, Steam Barrier, too. Might misplay. Okay, this definitely looks like a good Fission turn. Um, especially if I seek for Tempest. I want to get our powers down. I could do consistent damage. All lightning vision. Here's Electro. Hologram Steam Barrier to block if we want to. Uh, currently we're doing 10 damage, so we got to block 33. We block it for, so I need to block for 29 more, which I can do. Precisely 29 more. There was a 4 in there I forgot to account for at some point. That's also fine. This might end up being our... Buffer turn, from the looks of it. Kind of tempted to just hologram the machine learning and play down the machine learning in the loop. Just allow Buffer to take the hit this turn, and then next turn we can hopefully evoke enough orbs to do enough damage. And agreed, it does depend on the deck, but a lot of what Fission wants to do is to give you the energy and draw the cards to get, you know, powers down, to get the the other orb-generating cards down. And so the fact that you've lost the orbs instead of evoking them doesn't matter that much. But it totally still could matter. Hey, 70 is the magic number, huh? Luck to me. Good luck. Ever landed fatal hits on transient? Absolutely happens all the time. Transient's not so bad. Done it with every character at least one time. Pretty fun thing to do, usually. This should be a full block. Gives us energy next turn. Perfect. Do math, I swear. I definitely appreciate Bullseye. I think I'm going to bother to consume. Do get additional energy for playing an attack, so we should calculate if we need it. The answer is hell yes, we need it. Take a little bit? No, take nothing. Alright, good transient fight. Very good transient fight. Another charge battery, another bullseye, or a turbo. Pretty into that turbo, not gonna lie. I think I want that. This deck wants a lot of upgrades. I'm thinking we want to be hitting events for the chance of maybe getting an upgrade all off of Mind Bloom. Because this deck feels like it could really benefit from upgrading all cards. Almost everything is unupgraded. Good turbo. Big thing that um, an upgrade all would do is... Oops. 
give us more card draw by upgrading the cool headeds, by upgrading the seek. What am I seeking for? Loop into play. Can't take damage this turn no matter what. Easy block. Focus means that blocks for four. I have to do a lot of damage to this thing. Recycle is great, though. Cycle is definitely a lifesaver here. Okay. Like that. A couple frost rubs around. But we can potentially block stuff. Hologram Recycle. Spin this out a bit. That bullseye up. Still have our buffer for this hit if we need it. Looks like that's a... 8, 27, not enough. Okay, we're alright. We just want to kill before the next turn. If at all humanly possible. got lucky on this one. No multi-attacks out of uh, Ma here. The good memory is very good. Ooh, chill plus or go for the ice plus. Can take an upgraded card, that's for sure. I'm like missing that Amplify right about now. Seek's been okay, though. For liquid memories, I think. Or double go for the eyes is always nice to have, right? It's always good to have. Into fall, lose fission, lose electro, lose unupgraded go for the eyes. Well, it's an easy choice. Have to go. Oh, could go that way actually. This way is better. This way is better. Okay, Ascension 18, Giant Head, oh boy. We are not. We lose the buffer on turn one? I think not. That might kill me. Actually, I don't, I don't know that we scale up well enough for this guy. Maybe I have to Essence of Darkness here? I am scared. Definitely scared. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna die to the first. Look, we have a really good matchup against a uh, Reptomancer and against uh, Nemesis. Okay. It's 
camp a little bit. Okay, better? Better. That's worrying. I guess I'm gonna consume here. Lots of energy this turn. Seek, I know, right? Been really. Might have wanted to save that Tempest, too. Doing alright. It's all going good. Got a block for 33 this turn. Should be completely easy to do. not the right order there of drawing cards. Let's see, if I seek Glacier, Glacier will be 18 plus 12. Yeah, Glacier is good enough. Well, that means no charge battery. To keep stuff. Like algorithm. Probably gonna use the buffer on this turn? Yeah, for sure. Now we just have to survive this! Gonna be great! Gonna be excellent. I think we're gonna use the liquid memories here. Right? We've got that eternal defect problem of, uh, because we're orb-centric, uh, with few orb slots, we can either do damage or block, but not really do both at the same time. It's not good. That's not good. Are we winning this? Recycle's gonna have to put in some work. And we're gonna deliberately want to take a little bit of damage here. So if I double Glacier, that'd be... 4 focus 6 plus... 9 times 2. So 18 plus 12, 30, 44. Exactly 44. Perfect. Um, so I want to do that last then, right? Like this. The cards I wanted to draw, though. So. 
was a good start. Promising. Don't lose holding two darkness points. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, I think we're okay. That was almost really bad. But totally worth it. We now have a mummified hand and another machine learning, which with the mummy hand is well worth considering. We are fighting Awakened One, but it's only the Ascension 18 Awakened One, so he's only going to gain one strength per power. And that should make the second giant head a lot more manageable, right? I think I gotta take the second machine learning. Never punished, indeed. <laughs> indeed. There it is. Mind Bloom. While walking and traversing through the chaos of the spire, your thoughts suddenly begin to feel very real. Imaginings of monsters and riches begin to manifest themselves into reality. The sensation is quickly fleeting. What do you do? So many cards in this deck that are so deserving of upgrades. It's awfully hard not to just, you know, click this option and get them all upgraded at the same time. Yeah, that looks a lot better to me. That looks a lot better to me. So we now have two innate powers, two machine learning plus, which is interesting. Let's see how that goes. All will be... This is the way it always was. This is the way it always will be. All will be forgotten again soon. So we can now no longer heal. That means we cannot gain current health for any reason whatsoever. Any damage we take is health that we lose permanently. This deck is so good now. So we want to go like this.
With a mummy hand, you say? Okay. Here, we can all get another innate card here. Not bottled lightning, unfortunately, because bottled seek would have been insane. Bottled flame to make an attack appear in the opening hand is not really what I'm looking for. So I don't think I'm going to take anything here. But bottled seek would have been insane. Hit the shop up, I think. Go to take another elite here. We have no reason to go to fires right now. They literally do nothing for me. Oh, bottle FTL. That's actually a decent option. Um, because it's worth against worst against heart on turn one. Heart's gonna be a big problem. Yeah, that would be the big reason not to. It's because of heart heart turn one, where we're risking losing our buffer to beat of death if we don't have a block card. So let's not take that. Let's not take that. Already have the blue key, so I get a relic here. Ooh, Smooth Stone makes our block cards. Block for one more. Good. And it's the Giant Head rematch. I'm less afraid of him now. Way less afraid. Check this turn out. For a second, I thought we'd forgotten to add the Heat Sinks into the deck. Good turn one so far. Is our deck good yet? Has it happened? <laughs> Did we get there? That is the question. Believe the answer might just be yes. the same elite back-to-back? -back? You cannot, no. The quickest you can re-encounter an elite is every three fights. Just gotta make sure I play the algorithm. I mean, we have a buffer. This is fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. I'm just trying to figure out if we accidentally kill him. This is, what, 12 times... 12 times 2 plus 8 times 2. We do 40? Okay. Oh, right. Bullseye didn't wear off. Never mind. Entropic Brew, though. Fill all our empty potion slots with random potions. Very good potion with 4 slots. Fusion Plus. I actually don't mind this Leap. Don't mind the Leap one bit. Leap is great right now. We need some good block cards for Awakened One. Ooh, 
Master of Strategy. Master of Strategy is Excellent definitely work, tempting. Commander. This council is pleased to see Chip. our continued support of this project has been worth. Thank you so much for the two months. Glad you're able to catch more of the stream with the way things are going. Could take this meteor strike and we could actually use it. I wanted to, hypothetically speaking, remove a card. What would I take out of the deck? Sweeping Beam, maybe? Ah. Is Master Strategy good enough to spend 200 gold on? I really like the double machine learning. Despite the fact, I, I prefer, if I could un-upgrade one of them, I would prefer that, but I do like the double machine learning. Maybe I want a Swift Potion. Swift Potion's like Master Strategy, but it costs way less. I just want to draw more cards. Take that machine, that Master Strategy. A Lowing Tesseract. Uh, I'm only going to look at one of these. I don't want to lose health. But Impatience is great. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. We could also take Dark Shackles. Enemy loses nine strength this turn. Could be really good against uh, Weakened One in particular. Take the Shackles. Balance not found. Of course it would be Reptomancer. Of course it would be. Why am I not surprised? Okay. Not a great turn one, but definitely a good turn two. Definitely a good turn two. Definitely a very good turn two. got our buffer intact. Hazlet Samuel, thank you so much for continuing that gift sub, courtesy of Rickon80. Get him. Get him. Or Kelkum, if we enter turn without block, gain is six. Very good. Another cool headed, pretty tempting. Just one more source of frost here. I think we want that. I think we want that. And one final event. How do I feel about double orb walkers? Not great. Not great. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Great to have you all here for the final few runs of this ladder streak attempt. Uh, let's take an event. That was super worth it. Ink Bottle. Whenever we play 10 cards, draw one card, and 78 gold. Alright. Awakened One is gonna be a little difficult. I am gonna play a lot of powers in this fight. goes. <laughs> music? Hello? Hello, music. But five energy on turn one because of Lantern and Plasma. Okay. Uh, I think I just play all of these. We use our buffer on turn one, which is a little bit spooky, but... Probably worthwhile. Uh, 
And then we're drawing lots of cards every turn, thanks to double machine learning, so turn two and onward should be fine. No prob. I think we don't play the heat sinks, but I am gonna play Electro. I am gonna play all the Electro. And we should be able to block pretty consistently shortly. I'm definitely playing Loop. I'm definitely playing Electro here to kill the birds for me. Can you forever? That sound good? Sounds good to me. I feel the play this consume. Not my favorite draw. Should be fine though. We're passively blocking for quite a bit here. I'd like to play Dark Shackles on Awaken One the turn that Awaken One dies. So that we can remove that string permanently. Looking great here though. We're looking good. Thanks to go for the ice, this is only 9 times 4. This would normally be, uh, with 7 points of strength, 13 times 4. So we're saving, you know, 16 block per turn, which is practically what we're getting from the orbs, just off of... Just off of go for the ice here. Pretty big deal. Shackles next turn for the kill, hopefully.
Sky, thank you so much for those 1500 bits. Glad you enjoy the explanations. I truly enjoy giving them. Truly do. Okay, do we have anything to line up other than, I guess, Nunchaku for next act? Never even worried. So many voids. Some are mine, some are awakened ones. Oh, we also have Ink Bottle to line up. Let's try to get both of those up to a reasonable number here. Both of these on 9 for a better turn 1 or 2 against uh, Spire Spear and Spire Shield. 2 Thump, 2 Thump. Deep Pulsing Dread can be felt throughout the room. We had exactly 56 hit points when we upgraded all of our cards, right? So once, once we upgraded everything, we went from kind of struggling to perfecting the rest of the act. Which I think, I think goes a good way to... Good way towards showing just how dang powerful it is to get every card in your deck upgraded, and it's even more so than, you know, having an Apotheosis. Because uh, the Apotheosis, even if it's bottled, you're spending one card draw and one of your energy on it. We're not doing that in this case. We just have everything already upgraded, and it is very, very strong. Very, very strong. Mummy Hand also, yeah, Mummy Hand helped a lot too, <laughs> admittedly. Admittedly. Um, so am I upgrading Cool-Headed or Master of Strategy? Probably the Cool-Headed, because the Cool-Headed's reusable. We just want run-of-the-mill card draw. I'm more than happy to use one Darkness Potion on the Elites and one Darkness Potion on the Heart here. Hmm. I think it's going to be a card draw upgrade, though. that one. Oh my god. Wow! This shop is insane! If your music is, me re is uh, m messed up, try uh, refreshing the stream, by the way. Wow, this store is so good. Magnetism! <laughs> love it, Twitch forgot my account. I love it. So, two different ways to gain orb slots. The Runic Capacitor starts us out with three additional orb slots in combat. Regular Capacitor gives us two and is a power. You can also buy a potion here, either the Focus Potion to gain two Focus. With the Double Essence of Darkness, I think this really has to be Runic Capacitor. Runic Capacitor Focus Potion just feels like very secure. Very, very secure. Seven gold left. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes! And that's the opening hand I wanted, that's for damn sure. Can I have this exact opener against Heart, too? This exact one, please. Hey, Brandor, I am indeed. Oh, Canada. It's me. Hmm. 
Hmm, Magusta. So, still planning on using an Essence of Darkness here. Commander, we've just received the support Cats of another Cats hate mangoes! Council Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Council. You cannot skip this fight entirely with a smoke bomb, as long as you're surrounded. Um, the unique debuff applied by these enemies, the surrounded debuff, where you've got a facing in this fight, the one that uh, you're not facing deals bonus damage to you. As long as this debuff is in effect, as long as both of them are still alive, you cannot smoke bomb out. You'll just get the message, I'm surrounded, and your character will refuse to leave. But... If you can kill one of them, you can smoke bomb away from the other one. That said, if you can kill one of them, you can probably kill both of them, and you will get, you know, a relic and a card reward, maybe a potion drop for killing them. Well, you'll get none of that if you smoke bomb, so it's usually worth it to stick around and win the fight. Decide when the right moment to use this darkness potion is going to be. Draw more cards. It's mildly annoying. Get an energy off the nunchaku here. Could weaken Spire Spear. I was thinking of maybe laying down Bullseye, but getting weak down is pretty important too. And I have a hell of a draw next turn. Oh yeah, big time. An equilibrium? I want to do this. Pretty good start to the turn here. Hologram, nothing energy generating. Interesting thought. Got two cards, make something free. Made Glacier free, I like that. Soon Glacier, that won't be enough. Now hologram go for the eyes to weaken Spire Bro. Get it. Oh, I am having a slight bitrate issue. Interesting. Be why the music's weird. Hmm. Bitrate, what are you doing? So I was hoping to draw Fission or Seek or Force Field or Recycle or Turbo. Wow, I've got a lot of cards I want to draw. i not play Consume yet. Okay, there's Seek and Fission. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Excellent. So we seek for... Recycle Turbo? Yeah.
Perfect. So we're going to have a really big turn here. By recycling. Need to make room in hand that also generates energy. Let's go to this charge battery then. Energy, please. And thank you. And they're dead. And we even get a gambler's brew. A pen nib. Compound River could be good card draw. We have very good card draw already. Gambler's Brew is going to make our turn one against Heart pretty safe. We're in pretty good shape here. We are in very good shape here, admittedly. I think we can skip this. 37 cards is plenty. Alright, Heart. Let's do it. Block card, amazing. The sheer luck. What if I use the Darkness Potion not for the damage output, but rather just to play Vision on turn one meaningfully? So I think we hologram first. We don't even play the machine learnings yet. We hologram, darkness potion, fission. Try to draw heat sinks. Possibly gambler's brew after that. here. Discard basically everything that's not a power. Yeah. Uh, actually, keep the force field too. One, two, three, four, five cards. Gotta be able to keep blocking. Odds that I draw a block card. Really high. Hey, another focus pot's great. Another gambler's brew, because hell yeah. Consume. If we're gonna play Electra, might as well. Almost seems unfair, doesn't it? It's certainly not fair. It is certainly not fair. In the deck while we're at it.
My hand is full. My hand is too full. Okay, I've drawn the entire deck on turn one. We have played every power in the deck on turn one. We've done tons of damage on turn one. I'd say this is going fairly well. I think we're now playing the Glacier. The Glacier. Glacier. Oh, we're retaining hand, right? Yeah, 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 we actually do this then. That's right, we're retaining hands. We just do the damage then. Which means I also draw all the statuses. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! No! You can't do that. That's illegal. Super illegal. Uh, some number that's lower than 45, unfortunately. We have buffer for next turn, whatever. Probably fine. Right? It's probably fine. Uh, let's shuffle the. Let's um, sh redraw with uh, Master Strategy now. That'll cause us to shuffle the deck without either burn or wound in it. Oh, that was 45 with the burn? Don't forget that burn. Don't forget that burn. Where's my bullseye at? Wanna play it again? Offensive cards are in the draw pile for some weird reason. Interesting. Do that now. I'm retaining my hand. Okay. This is fine. Incrementing the ink bottle. What am I going to use the colorless potion? Probably after the heart's already dead. <laughs> Realistically speaking. Gonna flex on the heart with it. Perfect it right. Maybe do regardless. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, what's in the colorless pot? Discovery generating a hello world. Goodbye, heart. DJ. GG. It's a good streak so far, up to Ascension 19. Only been here twice before. GG. Six sixty-four, two perfect bosses, 
five perfect elites. All the cards in the world. Heck yeah. Yeah, props to props to Mark of the Bloom, props to Mummified Hand. A little hard to tell. We just received the support of another council member. How much is uh from one versus the other, but definitely a very good upgrade all. Definitely a very good upgrade all. Pretty obvious, like, as soon as we added the the heat sinks, plus had a lot to do with it too, right? But as soon as we upgraded everything, we were just drawing so many cards that um we just never took damage again. We we did not take a single point of damage after the mind gloom where we upgraded upgraded uh, all of these cards. There, upgraded, you know, that that long list of cards at Mind Bloom. And then yeah, no more damage taken. We even didn't didn't even use the buffer in most of these fights. Like I, I don't think we took buffer damage against Awaken One. I don't think we used buffer against Heart or Shield and Spear. Mori did all the work there. <laughs> you know, two charges left at the end of the run. Just, just for next time. For next time. Oh, that's true. We did use buffer uh, turn one and awaken one. That's right. That's right. We did do that. Alrighty. Wow. So that brings us to the Ascension 19 run with Watcher here. This Orichalcum ever. Did that or Orichalcum ever activate? <laughs> Don't think it did. <laughs> Don't think it did. Right, uh, crazy how that run turned around in two floors. And the, the crazy thing to think about is, had we been at one hit point when we encountered Mark of the Bloom, it would have been the right pick to still upgrade everything. I don't think I would have been able to be that brave, but had, you know, had we been in that situation, we would have won from there. And so, uh... It goes to show just how quickly a run can turn around. The the big, the most important obstacle in Slay the Spire is the one right in front of you. Get one more floor, things can change. Things can change. Greetings! Greetings. How do I like the Watcher? I like the Watcher quite a bit. Watcher is a very powerful character. Um, her most powerful mechanic is stances, which allow her to have a, a passive effect sort of going on. Calm stance, given by her Vigilance card, um, gives you two energy when you leave it, so it's banking energy for the future. And then Wrath stance doubles her attack damage, but also doubles the damage she receives. Letting her set up for some very, very powerful turns. Take a random rare card, which I think is pretty good. Watcher's rare pool is very powerful. Random common relic, also pretty good. Watcher thrives with just a little bit of a bonus start. Um, remove two cards or a random boss relic. Um, excuse me. <laughs> what is this layout? Oh dear. Oh dear. Wow, this act one. Well, this is certainly a Watcher Act 1, if ever I've seen one. We take four elites. And we go big or we go home. Four elites, four campfires. I like it. I definitely think a common relic would help with that. Quite a bit. I, I think I would probably also be wanting to go to the shop just to make sure we get enough power to do that. I'm not going to go for a floor six burning elite. That would be insanity, but we'll, we'll go for this one. We'll go for this one. Common Relic can never be bad, it's usually pretty good. Vajra would be incredible, Bag of Marbles would be incredible, Lantern would be incredible, Happy Flower would be incredible, Bag of Prep would be incredible. Like, so many Common Relics that would just make a big difference here. And a Rare into Lesson Learn would be pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna go with Common Relic and get an Oddly Smooth Stone, giving us one dex. Very good. Very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. It's no Vajra, but it's good. It's just good. I tend to take less risky starts on Watcher because the character is such such a powerhouse on a baseline level that she doesn't need as much of a boost to get over significant early obstacles like the other classes might. Just a 
little bit more block means we get to shave, you know, hit point here, hit point there. Good times. Uh, I think this is end turn in wrath. Kind of situation. Stance potion. Very good start. Enter Wrath or Calm. And a floor one talk to the hand. I don't think I can say no to that, right? I'm like le legally not allowed to say no to floor one talk to the hand. Although it doesn't do very much damage, mind you. Battle him does do a lot of damage. And is a very good floor one take. It's also very good against Act 1 Elites. Hmm. The last time, literally the last time that we were on the Ascension 19 Watcher run, I did take a Battle Him early on, and we did die to heart because we didn't have a... Actually, we got like four Talk to the Hands in that run and died to heart. I'm gonna take a battle him. And I'm gonna remove a strike. Yeah, with the battle him and the oddly smooth stone, I'm gonna remove a strike here. Actually, am I? Just go to the shop. Just gonna avoid the shop now. I think we're, our potion's gonna be good enough. That's the hope, anyway. Can you show what A10 through 19 does? Here you go. And pause or grab a screen grab for you there. We've also got commands for each of the individual ascensions. If that helps. Wallop, follow-up, crescendo. Deal 9 damage, gain block equal to unblock damage dealt. Spire is happy with me for some reason. This is really good with the stance potion, too. I'm gonna take Wallop. 57 gold, I'm not gonna go to the shop. We'll take a golden idol. Cost us some max health, and I will spin the wheel. Does the seed say relic swap would have been problematic? How about a free relic from the gremlin? Thank you, gremlin. What do you have for me today? Okay, mail ticket's good. When we enter a shop, heal 15. That'll probably do stuff next act. And we do now have a fight. We are not that well equipped, although battle him goes a long way when it comes to an act 1 elite. Please be like a villain. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That is fine. Excellent I I hold the work, mirror. Commander. No, I don't. No, no, no. This council is pleased to see our continued support. Fly Sprint Game. Thank you so much for those three months of Tier One sub ports. Very chunking appreciated. Wow, we just perfected Gremlin Knob. No prob. Like it wasn't even a thing on floor six on Ascension nineteen. Hot. Damn. And we now have a fire potion. Not gonna take a second battle him. I like the flying sleeves here, though. I like the flying sleeves here. This runs are looking pretty healthy. Yeah, the, the eternal feather is gonna keep us healed up as we bop. I think we're actually going to kill four elites and get four upgrades. Real talk. Yeah, I should have taken the damage rather than the max hit point loss. That's true. <laughs> if only I'd known. If only I'd known. Oh, Halt and Oddly Smooth Stone. That's true. This will block for um, 14 in Wrath Stance. I think I want a Flying Sleeves. A little bit more. Uh, let's make that Eruption one cost. Get some nice cheap Wrath Stance going here. Feels good. Hmm. Something like 
like that. Keep this a nice and simple transaction. Eruption here, we should be safe. Take two. Yeah, that's fine. Go for this one. Then this kills you. Kills you. Juzu Bracelet. Normal enemy encounters no longer encountered in question mark rooms. That's okay. Love the crush joints to get some vulnerable going. That helps us scale the wallop, and it's a good upgrade target besides. Um, could also take Reach Heaven to give us a retaining attack and through violence. Or Perseverance for retaining block that scales up when we retain it. But I really like the crush joints. Quite a lot here. Quite a lot here. Another good relic? Yes, there it is, Vajra! Start combat with one point of strength. Meaning all of our attacks hit just a little bit harder. Vajra, oddly smooth stone, act one, very good. It's time for the Gremlin Knob rematch. This time I'm going to use my strength potion, because we didn't draw our eruption on turn one. Do this. Try to draw eruption. This is fine. Let's see, this would be 12 plus 30? Oh my god. Oh, that's right, I drank the strength potion. Right, 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 okay. Not even close. <laughs> Damaru, another very good common relic. At the start of our turn, gain one mantra. Giving us a way to... Uh, start with Mantra Synergies. Now, any card that gives us Mantra, Devotion, Prostrate, Worship, these are all much better because we have a Relic ticking us towards Divinity. Love this Protect. Give us a Retaining Block. 2 Energy, Block 13. Could also take Evaluate and Upgrade it, making it Block 11. That's pretty good, too. We have, what, three more upgrades? So I'm going to upgrade Crush Joints. Maybe I am going to take Evaluate over uh, Protect here. Crush Joints, Evaluate, and, like, Flying Sleeves or something. Wallop. Wallop's going to upgrade, too. I'll take this Evaluate. Well, feeling good about the run so far. Great time, I think, to take a moment to focus on the positives we've all got going on in our own lives. Chat, what are you feeling good about today? What's happened recently that left a smile on your face or brought some warmth to your heart? For stream, I found some time to do a little bit of yoga today, which I haven't made a whole lot of, like, physical exercise time for myself, but I was able to get a nice full-body stretch in and feeling loose and limber and comfortable in my own skin. This got me nice and cozy for today. Been making a ton of bread lately. Nice! Thought about making some beer bread with the, uh, the quarantine times. Going home tomorrow to work remotely. Nice, Idrios. Stay safe with your family. Really vibing being able to watch the stream. There you go, ALS Layton. That's a wonderful thing to, uh, to enjoy. Didn't argue with your parents today. Take the small victories where you can find them, Grizz. Good one. Eat the crunchiest pickle ever. Oh, Boo Radley, you've reminded me of, um... I had the best, like, Renaissance Fair pickle at the New York Renaissance Fair. I want to say, like, ten years ago. Still the best pickle I've ever had. Not 
<laughs> Do not take that out of context. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Mr. Rain Rainbow Cream had a good dinner. If you can't think of anything, then... Challenge yourself to do something that makes you feel a bit good. Whether that can be tackling something on the to-do to list, reaching out to somebody, treating yourself to some nice game time or uh, something delicious, or getting a little exercise in. I encourage you to find a way to feel good. If even only for a brief moment. Paid off your credit card entirely for the first time in five years. Amazing, Mikani. About to graduate from university. Congrats, Zickles. Good luck. Lots of raspberries. I love raspberries. Raspberries and yogurt with bananas. One of my favorite breakfasts. Four-day weekend. Heck yeah, Jepsis. <laughs> Glad you're feeling a little bit better, Adam Penguin. Stable job, definitely something to cling to right now, Quad Dragon. Good luck. Made the decision to move closer to home, and that's going to happen pretty near future. Good luck, Haligonian. Stay safe. But best of luck there. Best of luck, luck there. Dan BG, happy for the gifted sub they got today? Con or the other day? Whatever that was. Zero Max, I'm happy to be with their family. So many positive things in chat, wow. Look at all this positive, wholesome goodness. You're all truly, truly great. Took a two hour walk, nice cross product. Never had a memorable pickle, says Cheesy Taters. It was the first time for everything. <laughs> I love it, Scuba. The pickle. The, yeah, the, yeah, Nerd Comp knows what I'm talking about. That pickle guy at the New York Ren Fair. He, he was, he's got, like, skits that he does to, to sell pickles. Some, some good old pickle-related humor. I don't think I could do that my, job myself. I'd probably find it too cucumbersome. Where am I from? I'm originally from the city of Edmonton in Alberta, Canada, duck with mussels. But I live in the east coast of the US now. Been here since elementary school, pretty much. But I'm frequently back to visit family, so I've got this kind of like hybrid American-Canadian accent that nobody is really sure what to do with. Hey, Insidians, congrats on the, making a deal with your landlord. Good to see people helping each other out in these times. Learned a song and guitar recently. Nice, Cleverwing. Did the dishes during the defect run, all anxiety gone at the same time. Dishes is a very good way to deal with anxiety. Oh, cool, Zero Max. Pick of some, uh, some birdies. All so dang wholesome. I'm an, I an Oilers fan. I am not personally an Oilers fan, but I have respect for them. <laughs> my dad, my dad is a big Oilers fan. Never been much into any kind of physical sports myself. Do I want this for no evil? Probably. Gives us a nice, reliable way to enter calm. Which is going to be really appreciated. I think I like that more than Empty Mind. Halt again is pretty good as well. I'm going to go with the Fear No Evil, though. And we're going to upgrade the Evaluate. All right, battle him. Where are you at? Perfect. Pretty good turn to wake up. Unless I fail to draw a Fear No Evil, which is a one in five, one in six chance, one in six chance.
Don't want to take a whole bunch of damage for Hexaghost. I'm actually, I'm pretty okay with that, <laughs> truthfully. Let's go now. Let's see how this goes. I don't think this is the right move. But I'm open-minded to being wrong about that. Oh, we actually just... Wow! Never mind, we just have lethal. Okay. Sure. What the hell, man? <laughs> Bullet vial lets me maybe take bites? Probably not. Down to three strikes already. Do I want a perseverance? Like, not really. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna skip these. Super full health. Or when full health is not enough, try even more full health. See you later, Cursed Wolf, if you're headed out. Appreciate you hanging with us. Slight amount of ouch. If I want to run without taking damage, not in recent memory. We came really close. I had a Watcher run recently. I forget what ascension we were on. I took two damage to Jawworm or something, and then we took no damage for the entire rest of the run. It's not what's going to happen here, though. We're going to take a lot of damage right now. 30 of it, to be precise. Still very comfortably beat Hexaghost, mind you, but... Stance potion, so this is safe. It's a lot of damage. Like this. Had a defect run with no combat damage taken? That's pretty cool. For what? Uh, 39 each? 39 damage. Damage. cards. Good cards. Both Lesson Learned and Devotion are very good. Devotion with Damaru is so much mantra gain. So we'll constantly be entering Divinity, which is perfect with all the retaining attacks that we have. We've got Flying Sleeves to retain, we've got Smites to retain, Wallop benefits massively. Really like Divinity in this deck. Really like Divinity in this deck. Lesson learned is also, of course, absolutely insane. Upgrading a card every time we kill an enemy with it. Devotion upgrade is one more mantra per turn. So with an upgrade on the Devotion, we'd be Divine probably on, like, turn three. Or two turns after we play it, whenever that is. Oh, that's quite a statement kicking. Less Learn is 100% my favorite card in the game, but I would snap pick Devotion here. I think this Devotion is so good. It's it's so good because of the retaining attacks and because of the Demario. So let's pick it up. And for our boss relic, we are offered some excellent choices. Genuinely excellent choices here. We want more energy. Sozu gives us an energy at the start of our turn, but prevents us from obtaining potions. We have one decent potion, but I I don't know. Um, a philo philosophical change I've kind of been feeling about Spire lately is that Act 2 Elites are fights that kind of demand potion use to make them easier. You just need a little bit of an edge. 
to beat Slavers, you know, to, without taking 30 damage. To beat Book of Stabbing without taking 30 damage. You know, a couple points of strength, uh, a 20 damage fire potion, a draw potion, an energy potion, they can make all the difference. And Sozu really prevents us from using our potions and Actualiates, which is going to make them a lot harder. Can take Empty Cage to remove two cards. I would love to just shrink this down by one strike and one defend. Gets the Devotion out quicker. Or instead of doing that, we can transform and upgrade three cards with Astrolabe, which I think would be two strikes, one defend. We get three upgraded cards as replacements, and then they do who knows what. I generally speaking like the Astrolabe over the Empty Cage. Both are providing the function of removing several cards from the deck. You know, starter cards. Um, and it's, it's almost always the case that, you know, random upgraded cards are pretty good. Pretty good. So I, I think most of the time I like the Astrolabe over the Empty Cage, and that's certainly the case here. You can Astrolabe Curses, however, they will turn into more Curses. So doing so is not highly recommended. Um, that's pretty good. I'm not thrilled with Study Plus here, but Cut Through Fate Plus is very good. And Mental Fortress Plus in this deck, we've got a Fear No Evil, we've got, you know, Divinity going on. Very good way to gain lots of block, so very happy with Mental Fortress Plus. Would I ever take Runic Dome? Yep, I do take Runic Dome occasionally, Shubinator. It's it's tough, but there is a right time and place for Runic Dome, and my, my favorite situation to put a Runic Dome in my deck is when I've got Barricade, letting me retain block from turn to turn. Sozu was the blob the boss swap. Gotcha, Animal. Yeah, I I wouldn't have been thrilled with a with the boss swap into Sozu, that's for sure. That's for sure. Juicy Act 2 as well. Oh boy, I love it. You'll love to see it. With 354 gold, I think going to an early shop is nearly required. Before I jump into this act, though, I'm going to take another quick break, use the bathroom, clear my head, refill my water one more time. Encourage you all to do the same. So excited to have you here, everybody in chat. It's a lovely day to slay this fire, and I'm hoping that we get to do it a couple more times today. I will be right back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the Spire. Let's kick some Act 2 butt, shall we? Do it. Have you ever considered a reverse ladder streak? I have indeed, J Phoenix. I have indeed given that some thought. Uh, what's the play here? Is it just Vigilance Crust Joints, or do I want to play this Mental Fortress? It's just Vigilance Crust Joints. Don't want too many days in the draw pile here. This is going to be 27. Do you know? They're going to be... I'm not going to do math. So we have one point of strength. Smites do 12 base. So this is 13 times 3 times 0.75. So these are 29 damage smites. Plus 11. So 29 times 2. Plus 11... Oh yeah, super, super lethal. Good cards. Empty Fist Plus, Meditate, Empty Mind. Meditate is definitely good, yeah, Meditate is very good. Like, Hologram, but it's also a stance change card and gives us Calm. It's a third way to enter Calm. Would put it, open us up to a Like Water as a way to scale as well. Meditate is so good. Get back Wallop, get back Eruption. Love the Empty Fist, but I think the Meditate is better. So we'll take it. Good job, Mental Fortress. I think this is the first fight we're gonna fight where. Commander, we need more ways to one of our him. most valued. We need an exit immediately. Schwartz is shouldn't. Thank you so much for 16 project. heckin' months. Two more months till that one and a half year. So very exciting. Thanks for being here. For as long as you got. As long as you have been. <clears throat> uh, I think I just wallop to block? Not willing to use my stance potion here. I'm immediately wishing that I had an empty fist. Points of damage there. That's not too bad, though. Blessing the Forge is very good. Upgrading all cards in our hand. And there's the Empty Fist that I want. Deal 9 damage. Exit your stance. Alternately, Crescendo is not bad, either. With all these ways to enter Calm Stance. Do I have an optimal ratio of Wrath slash Calm slash Exit? I don't. Uh, just like I don't have an optimal ratio of Frost... And lightning orbs on defect. It's it, the optimal ratio is going to vary depending on the fight. So you just want to have the the flexibility to play either more or less. Tantrum is better, but we're not being offered a tantrum. I think I'm going to go with the empty fist. 
so that we can exit, uh... Oh. Oh my. Lots of good options here. Orange pellets, whenever we play a power attack and a skill in the same turn, remove all of our debuffs. Very good. Molten Egg would upgrade any future attacks that we add, including maybe that Sash Whip, making that a good pickup, like Molten Egg Sash Whip. Uh, Gremlin Horn, when an enemy dies, gain an energy draw a card. Love the Sanctity. More card draw is always good. Love the Foresight. Scrying is good. And it'd be another power to go with Orange Pellets if we take that. Uh, I would love to card remove Strike. Get that last Strike out of the deck. Can't quite afford both uh, Horn and Orange Pellets. I like Blind as well. I like Blind a lot if I take the Sanctity. So I can do either Foresight or Blind. Well, Blind seems better. Take a Blind. Yikes. Slightly less yikes. It's not that bad. This is a good uh, upgrade potion. This is a very good upgrade potion. What's our upgrade potion here? This. This turn might hurt a bit. Divinity next turn. Good game. Get a potion back. Perfect. Evaluate, Sash Whip, Crush Joints. All are pretty good here. I think I like the Sash Whip. Maybe a little bit more weakened in the deck. Potentially. Other Evaluate's not bad either. Not a bad either. I think I'm going this way, right? Take these two elites. Hmm. Might go for the burning elite. See where my health is at, and if I need the heal from the meal ticket. Meditate's probably our next upgrade. I'll take one more evaluate. Especially with this dex potion. Oh man. Okay. In front of you sits an altar to a forgotten god. Atop the altar sits an ornate female statue with arms outstretched. Offer golden idol. Obtain a special relic. Lose golden idol. That would give us the bloody idol. Whenever we gain gold, heal five. Actually, might be worse than the golden idol. Hilariously, like if we're if we're if we there's a point at which we have so much healing we can no longer use more. I don't think we're there yet. So now instead of 25% more gold, we're gaining 5 health when we gain gold. That means I'm definitely going to go for a couple of elites here. Okay, not my favorite turn one. But that's okay, because we get healed after this, so like, whatever. 
fine. Let's take 20. Perfect. Vigilance eruption? Is that insane? It is if I let myself get entangled. Right? So I either get entangled so I can't attack next turn, or I kill the Red Slaver here. Incoming damage is 26 plus 16, 40 kabillion. 40 kabillion. We'll block for... Do quite a bit of damage to me. We get two eternal feather heals though with the pathing I'm intending to do. This is fine. So I can't math. That was nine block, not seven. I have three decks. So we take ten. Ten is reasonable. Ten is super reasonable. Going Divine next turn, so as long as we can full block this turn, which we totally can, everything will be fine. 29. Cards to draw. Right. Card to put it in our opening hands. We're offered just lucky windmill strike plus and weave. Probably not taking any of those. Um, I could bottle a skill. Would it be? We do have plus one strength in deck, so the Just Lucky's, like, not bad. And Bottle Blind, which should make it a good upgrade. Though turn one weakens not always something I want. Usually pretty okay. Sanctity for the extra card draw, especially with the Miracle, I think I like a little bit more. That. Not thrilled with any of those, admittedly. Uh, let's upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade Meditate and then Devotion. <clears throat> we'll be back up to full by this fire. I am planning on two more elites here. Boat thingy, 14 block on turn two. Excellent. That was a question mark, so I get another relic here, which is the Whetstone, upgrading two random attacks. We have no strikes to the deck, so that's gonna upgrade Flying Sleeves. Fear No Evil or Empty Fist? Two of the three, very good upgrades, so I'm happily going to take that. Fear No Evil and Flying Sleeves get upgraded. Why not Bottle Devotion? Because Devotion is a power, which requires a bottle to Tornado. Bottle Lightning can only bottle skills. So we didn't have the option to upgrade uh, to Bottle Devotion there, unfortunately. I think we're going to go for... Yeah, we're healing to exactly full. Let's go for two more elites here. Get the Burning Elite next act. Hopefully I don't regret that. Why 
24, huh? Just like Eruption Wallop? No. Mental Fortress Eruption Meditate? The Eruption back? And I can like Miracle Sanctity? Miracle Sanctity first. Vigilance Eruption is better than Mental Fortress Eruption. In terms of block generated this turn, so we go Vigilance, Eruption, Mental Fortress, Meditate. And I think we get to evaluate too. Now, just Mental Fortress, Meditate. Still take a little bit of damage here. It is possible to have more innate or bottled cards than your starting hand size. Yes, Heart of the Cards. If you have more than five innate cards, you just start with all of them in your opening hand. So if you have ten backstabs, your opening hand is ten backstabs, even if you would only have drawn five cards for turn one normally. If you have more than ten innate cards, then you draw ten of them at random as your opening hand, and all the remaining innate cards are on top of your deck in random order. So if you have 12 backstabs, you have 10 of them in your opening hand, and then two of them are the first two cards you draw on the second turn. Mental Fortress, so good! So good. Weakened, okay, fair enough. One more turn until Divinity. Gotta block this one or survive this one otherwise. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lamb. There's the bottled tornado that we need for the innate devotion. That's the one, officer. Eh. Uh, our options for this are devotion, mental fortress, study. I think it's got to be the devotion, though. Yeah. Or battle him. But let's let's take the devotion. That's that's guaranteed turn three divinity. Video game despot seizing the opportunity to sneak into the channel cutie roll there. Enjoyed the, uh... Enjoyed the Grifflins yesterday, by the way. Change something real quick. If any moderator is around to handle the Discord side of things, that'd be super appreciated. Oops. Huzzah! Huzzah. Long line of hooded figures. Normally I like Ritual Dagger on the Watcher, but I think we're a little bit too late here at the very, very end of Act 2, so I'll just take the money. I'll just take the money. 
Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to... Well, it's actually not that bad getting attacked turn two. It's actually not that bad at all, right? Hmm, I still want to play Sanctity. Alright, I'll Miracle Sanctity. Let's see what happens here. I never regret that. Perfect. Come walloped upon, nerd. My next turn, so we should just have a kill here. Smites deal 58 damage each. Holy moly. Holy moly, that is so much damage. Ornamental fan, if we play three attacks in one turn, gives us block. Very much appreciated. Rush down, judgment, crush joints. Eh. We only have one way to enter wrath. Judgment feels unnecessary. Crush joints feels unnecessary. Nah. Nah. Where can you get this crazy big-ass chair? Check your local furniture retailer. That's where I got mine. That's where I got mine. It's just a big comfy recliner. It's not a lazy boy, but it, I think it's uh, like a United Furniture or something. There was a tag on it, but there's like not much left of it. It is uh, it is a few years old at this point. Uh, Next turn sounds good. Not gonna play Mental Fortress here. I've actually played Eruption, but. Hmm. Hmm. I can do Orange Pellets to remove the Vulnerable here. We're getting a heal after this, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're divine next turn, right? So let's just do Christian's Wallop. <laughs> Didn't add a lot of cards, but we've upgraded so many of them and added so many relics. I think it's been well worth it. Getting the evaluate quite a bit. Getting our block go a little bit further. We could also upgrade Sanctity since it's in my opening hand. Just three more block on turn one. Although notably not actually helpful against Bronze Automaton here. My reclined now. Now I'm reclined. This is this. I'm just like ass out. Middle of the stream. Chunk. Blind upgrade for the orbs might have been nice. Maybe. Blind upgrade for the orbs might have been nice. I think we're totally okay in this fight with the divinity on turn four here. I am not worried. Is this a full block? Sure. I 
I need that. They really didn't take my battle him. So I'm not particularly upset with them. Next turn we're divine, so this is fine. again next turn for the hyper beam. Easy. Maybe two more energy next turn then. I'm retaining a couple too many cards right now. Get some wrath damage down. Full blocking, pretty much no matter what. I'm going to try to land vulnerable by drawing blind here. No such luck, huh? Good turn. Hockey numbers just to know how many cards I have in hand, but basically, yeah. Pretty much. Oh man, another devotion or a scrawl. Both of those are very good. Bronze tomato has been destroyed. Second devotion versus scrawl. Hey smiling Bennett, I have indeed seen that add-on. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I haven't yet figured out if I want to run it myself. Um, the the hurdle I have to get over is uh, that it's you have to use Mod the Spire to get it installed, which I am hesitant to use for a couple of reasons. God, I love this scrawl. Hard draw wasn't a problem with all the insights. Card draw is a problem on turn one and two, which is what the scrawl is really alleviating. Did anyone ever beat my A15 win streak? I don't think so, Hazel Samuel. I think that does still stand as the longest A15 streak, but, uh, you know, not everybody is trying to, uh, or nobody is trying to beat it now. And I don't think it would be too hard these days with the skill level of players. Interesting cards. Hmm. My Ascension 15 streak way back in the day was uh, 28? 28, I think, uh, Ascension 15 wins in a row. This was back, back before Ascension 20 was even added to the game. Just like a few weeks before. Long, long time ago. I'm literally- I'm legit considering this, uh, Sneko Eye. Because we can... So, hear me out. Sneko is terrible with insights, right? You need to turn, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. Pretty- pretty bad. 
with Sneko, right? Randomizing zero cost stuff, but we have orange pellets, which we can reliably remove confusion with on turn one. Leaving us with the opening hand, still a random cost, but everything we draw after the opening hand will be normal cost. Because we can remove that confusion pretty consistently on turn one. The Lotus also does seem very good, right? Whenever we leave Calm, gain one energy, which we're doing a lot. We have lots of ways to get into Calm, we have a few ways to get out of it. I think that would probably work better. Pretty happy with Lotus here. The Lotus. So, concerned with Mod the Spire, uh, there's a couple things. Mod the Spire changes your RNG by having it installed. So, a seed, like if I if I take this random seed, um, and you know, do a run um, with Mod the Spire, I'm going to get different results than anybody who does the same seed without Mod the Spire installed. And one of the big downsides of this is that if you are, you input seeds on console actually. Is that even an option? Does it mean one of the things it means is that anybody who's playing on console or unmodded cannot um, use a seed that I've used to get the same results? Which I know not that many people do, but enough of them do that I imagine some would be someone would be inconvenienced. You can do seeds on console, gotcha. So it would remove that entirely, which is less than cool, but not insurmountable. Um, it's also a little bit less stable. Probably not too bad. Okay, we gotta go for the Burning Elite, so we're gonna go to this shop with 300 gold. We don't have to, but I want to. Works for me. Works for me. Mm, that's a fine turn one. Yeah, that's cool. Not horrible. Thank you, boat thingy. So I can go Vigilance, Empty Fist, get some energy here. I can play everything. Probably have to also use the weak potion. Can't kill anybody here. Could've been worse. Like could have been worse. My right, next turn. God, I love this turn four divine. I wish I could make it a turn three divine. We need like a prostrate. Just need a prostrate. a tantrum plus. Yep. I'll take that. Deal three damage four times, four damage four times with Vajra. Enter Wrath, shuffle this card into the draw pile. Ludicrously powerful offensive card on Watcher. Ludicrously powerful offensive card on Watcher. Turn away bold tantrum. I can do vigilance empty fist too if I wanted to. Get 
you want to. But all of the power is in play. The bandits. Commander, one of our most valued supporters. Says Shania, thank you so much for five, six, excuse me, six months of tier one support. What do you call a magician who's lost all his magic? Ian. Like it. Like it a lot. Thank you so much for the long standing support. Oh my goodness. Bag of preparation draws us two cards on turn one. Definitely been feeling a little blah about my turn ones, so that helps a lot. Like water is pretty appealing as well. It's that last flower relic. That is the Violent Lotus, giving us an extra energy every time we exit our calm stance. Definitely take bag of prep. Can't do like water and a card remove. Wouldn't mind removing a defend. Inner Peace could be good as well. Hmm. I like the like water quite a lot. Only 23 card deck. Do I need a potion? Maybe. We'll be fine. Smiley face. How's it going, transient? Cool, I'm willing to take three here. That's totally fine. Put these powers down. We want the divinity for this bad boy. Wrath stance is usually pretty safe against transient, and we have the the stance potion in the worst case scenario here. So I'm going to take a lot of damage if I just Vigilance here. Empty Fist is a little bit safer. We have Divinity next turn. This takes way less. Shuffle it into the draw pile, draw it again. No, let's do it this way. Hey. And we're divine again next turn. Perfect. Good transient fight. Took a couple points of damage, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. 
more healing. Another mental fortress or another meditate. Hmm. This feels like we want one more mental fortress and then we're done taking powers. These are dangerous. I'll fight ya. Happy to use my stance potion to win this fight. We're gonna get a rare relic out of it. Oh yeah. Uh huh? Scrawl is a good upgrade too. Actually not sure whether I want an elite or an upgrade at the next floor. Does it we go miracle sanctity? I'd like to find a way to leave calm. I go... Wrath Stance, Crush Joints, Fl No, that's not gonna be enough. Okay. Just go Vigilance Devotion. Take a bench of... Bench? Take a bench of damage. Take a bench of damage. I think I'd un battle him is pretty rough, though. To go, like, battle him, mental fortress devotion, take a lot more. Don't get into calm stance. That feels ugly. Feels ugly. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this feels like where I use the Stance Potion to enter Wrath. So I get three more energy and we can play Scrawl. Try to find a way to leave. So that gives us three energy, thanks to Violet Lotus. Our joints is in the discard pile. Tantrums here. Got meditate to bring us out of this stance. We could just kill, but then I'd be taking a lot of damage. We just want to set up next turn, I think. Be safe if I do this. I think interruption to the discard could have been nice. Joints you, wallop you. Kill you, steady. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. We get a bird face turn, healing us for two when we play a power because we didn't have enough healing. And there's the prostrate I wanted. Gain two mantra. Perfect. Perfect. If we draw that, we get to divinity on turn three instead of turn four. And that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Uh, how do I feel about upgrades? We should just be fighting elites. Relics are really good. Last time I checked. Last time I checked, relics were extremely good.
So if I go to the elite before the burning elite, does it change which elite the burning is? Yes. We are now guaranteed to encounter a superpowered version of either the Reptomancer or the Nemesis. But yes, indeed. Taking back the crush giants, actually. It's fine, though. Nine energy this turn bodes pretty well. Dare I say? Draw exactly these two? Sure. Well... Asking the right questions there, giant head. Um, ow, actually? Ow. I was supposed to Vigilance Tantrum? Stupid pants. Yeah, I was supposed to Vigilance Tantrum there, whoops. is mostly fine. Damage. Not that much. Shovel! We can now dig for relics at rest sites. And a second scrawl. Or a weave. Second scrawl? Second scrawl. Seems pretty okay. Here's Mind Bloom again. <laughs> Fight a boss, get another rare relic. Upgrade all cards we can no longer heal or heal to full. Get cursed with doubt. I mean, we're pretty much healing to full from the boss fight. Um, is this an upgrade at all? Probably not, given with how much healing we have. I don't think this deck is in a position, although upgrading both scrolls would be insane. For the record. This is a good upgrade all. But we have way too much healing to want to upgrade all and prevent ourselves from healing. So we'll fight the Hexajerk instead. Sounds fine to me. Casual 60 block on turn 3, feeling good. Feeling very good. Oh, 5. So if we get back this, we go to again. Another 60 block that turn. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> calipers? Are calipers good here? When we're blocking for 60 on turn 2? Maybe. Just maybe. Is this the heart of the spire? Is this a plus 4 strength Reptomancer? This is. But boy, is that a great turn 1. Holy guacamole, we can do Fear No Evil into Tantrum here. Plus Mental Fortress, so I get lots of block, lots of strong. This is 12 plus 20, yep. Can just go Devotion Vigilance? It's hard to do better than that. Have a dance pot. Cool. Glad that wasn't a giant mistake. I've made that mistake before. We seem to be fine. Now we're in Divinity. But yeah, that could have been that could have been a super scary turn. Definitely risked it for the biscuit there. Sometimes you just gotta end turn in wrath, right? Just how it is. So I can go back into calm, back into wrath. Back out of Wrath, back into Wrath, and I have 65 block, 50 of which gets carried over to this turn. Enter Divinity, bonk the Repto. Payer gives us 10 more max health, more room for error, I like that. Don't mind a cut through fate so much, more scry is pretty good. That's pretty good. Skip all these. Take our blue key over the Omomori that would probably not even do anything. One last elite in this axe. It's the Nemesis. Nemesis, why are you so angry? Uh, I'm actually going to take damage to get Battle Him in play. Battle Him is pretty important to us. It's the retaining attacks going, which are going to be essential here. Hear me? They're essential. So, ow. Uh, let's Power Potion. Didn't. So I'm going to draw like blind or prostrate or something there. We're fine though. We got lots of healing. Totally, totally okay. Entering Divinity next turn. Can't actually do damage with it though, so I gotta be careful about that.
Okay. Just build up a lot of block here. There's one option available to me. have a kill here. Well, ouch. It's not getting the lineup right here. Again, tons of healing. The very minimum. We gotta give it credit, it's at least fun. Okay, we just take back... Cut through fate. Should be fine here. Slightly spookier than that needed to be, but we got there. Seven more max health with the straw berries, good. Another Fear No Evil is oddly tempting. To fight Tiny here. Already fought both double orb blockers and found Mind Bloom. What events are left that are any good? Falling could be good. Please upgrade Scrawl. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade one of them. We're gonna upgrade one of them. So many things to upgrade. Tesseract would be good. Yeah, Tesseract would be really nice. You could get an Apotheosis there or something. His Brilliance would be pretty good. Damage-wise. Damage we're struggling for. What the f Let's take one more Fear No Evil. Hey, and we get an upgrade. Cool. So I get to upgrade both copies of Scrawl. Excellent. Or I can dig now. Digging is also an option. Okay, that was not worth it. That was not worth it. It's alright. Face turns got her back. Life is good. So we're to divine next turn, which means this is completely safe to do.
Herb lamb. Herb lamb. Take an empty body. I'm not interested in an empty fist, I don't think. A recall here. And now we have to beat Time Eater. Some Ascension 19 here. Time Eater's no joke, but with our heavily power based deck, this should be pretty manageable. Happy with the turn one blind. I think I go Mental Fortress. Do we wallop here? Let's go Miracle Sanctity. Better. Much better. So take a little bit here. Good opportunity to build up some block for the next turn. Time we play 12 cards, Time Eater will end our turn and gain 2 points of strength. I'm not gonna play Study against Time Eater. It seems like a bad idea. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Adding all these insights that I have to play, right? <laughs> Don't wanna do that. Tantrum Meditate? Tantrum Meditate. Wallop is a lot of block this turn. Can I get the Crush Joints? Try to get a Crush Joints first. Bring Time Eater below half on this turn is great. So next turn, Time Eater will heal itself back up to half and remove all debuffs from itself. Let's see, we go Divine next turn, so I can do this. To thump a deep pulsing dread be felt throughout the room is this the heart of the spire. Got one last potential upgrade or a dig. So blind is interesting in the uh, spire spear and spire shield fight. If I upgrade blind, it'll affect both the elites. But if I don't upgrade blind, I can use it to turn around. 
That's weird. That is weird. We should dig. Bottled flame. Like a... Uh, not a bottled fear no evil. Bottled cut through fate. That'll work. Ooh, baby. Nice store. We skipped that last run, uh, Unique Cypher. I think that was the defect run. Other Devotion is here. Clockwork Souvenir is here to give us artifacts on turn one. That could block Vulnerable from the Heart. That's huge. Although we have Orange Pellets, actually. Do we need that? We don't need that. We don't need that Souvenir at all because of Orange Pellets. Do I want this Apotheosis? Not really. Most of the deck is already upgraded, right? Most of it. Not all of it, but most of it. So in that case, I like the Devotion. I like a Potion. And I like a removal? But I remove. I mean, I could be pretty good, too. I mean, I could definitely be good here. Move a defend? Actually, not bad. Defends are kind of stinky. If I do Kunai, I can't remove a card, right? 277 plus 53. I like that all three of these potions are exactly the same price. 330. Yeah, I can't afford I can't afford Kunai potion. So I'm gonna go attack potion, devotion. And we're gonna remove the defense. I think that's where I'm at. Before we go into these last couple fights, I'm gonna take a real quick bathroom break. This is a really short one, just gonna empty the bladder so that I can think as best I can. You're right back, everybody. Ready? Let's go. What a beautiful turn one. That's perfect. Devotion, Mental Fortress Plus, Meditate Plus, all in turn one. Very good. Probably want to scry a little bit too. Or scrawl? Draw cards with scrawl? There we go. This. Could do second mental fortress? Hoping for a way to enter calm, like fear no evil, and then a way to leave calm would have been perfect. We could start going nonsensical here. 
commander. Look one like of it, our most valued supporters. It says continued support. I just Mental Fortress meditate. I don't have anything to draw next turn. King's Horsey, thank you so much for those nine months of Twitch Prime subports. Very much appreciated. Hmm. Would really like to draw an exit? Considering attack potioning here? I might even do, like, Fear No Evil into Scrawl. Giving me two more cards to look at. Should I play the attack potion first? Will you want to meditate here so that turn two is not screwed by burns? Problem is that meditate will not help against the burns right now. There's zero cards in the draw pile, or the discard pile. Um, so I'm not actually getting anything back if I play meditate. Yeah, the attack potion would go into my discard if I played it without playing the Fernoy Evil first. I think we gotta go Fernoy Evil first. Just lucky. That helps. Helps. Yeah, I can't discard Prostrate. Gives me stuff to meditate, though. Actually, I can just meditate this back, so I'm going to discard it. I only need to play it one time. Two times doesn't matter, right? Right. Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. Okay, we drew the eruption. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. That gives me three more energy on this turn. And it was well worth the gambit there. Well, well worth the gambit. I can play mend, uh, battle him. Also, cut through fate to scry next turn. Get fear of all eruption back. <laughs> Although I have to get prostrate back. Necessarily. Those two. It's a lot of block. A lot of block. Play everything except that smite? Yes. Or actually except the. F yeah. We don't even play the smite. We'll do that next turn when we're in Divinity. So I do take some damage here. Not much, but a little bit. Just enough. For it to matter. Have you ever finished the ladder streak before? I have not. Ever finished the ladder streak. So we are in some pretty exciting territory right now. I have no powers remaining to play, right? Is correct. Nice. Double checking, I have no way to heal. Okay. Okay, we got a bag of marbles, making uh, the heart vulnerable on turn one. 
Swift Potion lets us draw three, that's really good. Establishment with Meditate. And with Battle Him. That's pretty cool. Whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one. Alternately, Empty Body, also very good. Both of these are excellent. I kind of like the Empty Body more. Real talk. One more exit, helping us generate block. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Empty Body over uh, Establishment here. Excellent work, Commander. But this I like the, uh, I think I, I like the Establishment more than the Skip. I just like the Empty Body more than Establishment. Earldom, thank you so much for those three months of Twitch Heckin' Prime. Very greatly appreciate it. It's a spicy tantrum turn one. Definitely getting Devotion down. I don't think we're playing a Scrawl. Happy to do a Devotion, Evaluate, Battle Him. Actually... What if it's Cutthroat Fate, helping me scry for next turn? You just accept a little bit of beat of death damage. This is the Ascension 19 Heart. So this is, this is the full-powered heart here. We've got the 2 beat of death, the 200 damage cap on this bad boy here. This is as powerful as it gets. I think I really like the Cutthroat Fate. We take 6 damage this turn to do Cutthroat Fate Devotion Battle Him, but it sets me up to... Because I'm Cutthroat Fating, I have better vision of what's coming up. I'm also healing 4, that's true. So I'm... Only taking two, really. Okay, perfect. We draw Like Water and Wallop next turn. And that'll, along with the Miracle, that's a guaranteed Orange Pellets activation. Even if we draw the Void. Perfect. Perfect. Totally perfect. all the debuffs. I play Evaluate to block for more. Take a chunk. But we already drew two of the statuses. Feeling okay here. No Mental Fortress in play yet. Is this where I Swift Potion? Or do I Scrawl? I don't know. I'd like to go Mental Fortress, Fear No Evil, Eruption, Meditate. Scrawl would draw four. Let's just uh, Swift Potion here. Save the Scrawl for the moment. Hey, there it is. Good job, Mental Fortress. Mental Fortress, Fear No Evil, Eruption, then I have three more energy to spend. We can play Study, Empty Fist, Meditate, something like that. We're Divine next turn, so we can do a lot of damage next turn. Let's just go Empty Fist. Study meditate. Going to vine, so I'm gonna want wallop just to block for a lot. Let's take a cutthroat fix. Good turn to draw blinds. Blind crush joints, and then wallop is blocking for so much, which means that we retain so much with the calipers. We should be good after this turn. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. 67 block. Kerblam. Uh, next turn, we're... Oh. Next turn, we're going to be on... 6, 7? That could be enough. This, then. Completely capped our damage there. Usually a good sign. Uh, I think I just want to get these powers in play. Actually, let's do it this way. Uh, yeah, 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 let's just get these powers in play. Divinity? We drew Wallop again. Good job, Wallop. You are a good card. Remember when we found this in Act 1? I remember. I remember. Oh, hey, we're divine again. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. So we can meditate. You guessed it. Prostrate and wallop. We actually play the empty body? I don't think we did. Oh well. G. Freaking G. We're on to A20. We are on to A20, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Just received the support of another game, game does, but Thank you so much for yet another gifted sub today. And Dollar Cave Schlub, thank you so much for those five gifted subs. Welcome on in, everybody, Commander, to the council. Our briefs have recently Enjoy been the emotes. Your discretion in this matter is expected. The community, and of course, that newfound smug sense of superiority. Commander, one of our most valued supporters says continued support of the XCOM project. Jamil, thank you so much for the six months of Twitch Prime. Six more to go for a full year. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Alrighty. What a great run. What a great run. We get a searing below A20 run? Oh man. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Has it Excellent work, been done? Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been... Boba Face Roll, thank you so much for those two months. Kicking off a hype train there. Very, very appreciated. A20 with my favorite class, you know it. You know it. Play some Ironclad, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do the A20 run tonight. We got time. We got time. 
<laughs> Cheers, get chicken with it. Speed run the A20, of course. Heligonian! Thank you so much, very much for those five. Commander, gifted tier one subs. Regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. Thank you so very, very much. Excellent work, Commander. This Wait, council something else is happened? pleased to see our continued Oh, and in, in the middle of that. This project has been worthwhile. Lazy evaluation. Thank you so much for the two months of tier one subs. Commander, Let's do this. We've just received the support <laughs> of another council Zoo this. Thank you so much for the two gifted subs. Spicy Noodle Bucket. Thank you so much for the eight months of tier one. Krogzar. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Commander, Generosity just flying around. The support of another council member. Sheer ridiculosity of it all. Sheer ridiculosity of it all. Kaka! Skippy Goober! Also gifting us here one sub. And J40 Air, thank you so much for the bits. My goodness gracious. You're all way too kind. Commander. We've just received the support of another council member. Continuing a gift sub they got from Trampage. Hmm. Double boss. Makani87, thank you so much for the 250 bits. During a hype train, I think everybody who contributes to the hype train has a chance to get some of the special emotes those give out, which are pretty cool. <laughs> when this feature first launched on Twitch, I was not not very impressed with it, but they have put work into it. Put work into it. Alrighty, Iron Boy. Ascension 20. Let's go. Days Lurker, thank you so much for gifting that, or for continuing that gifted sub. From Haligonian. Hoping for a rare relic start. Transform 2. Don't mind 100 gold, though, into an early shop. Digital Shuckle! Commander, we've just received the support of Thanks so much for gifting a tier member. one sub. Mr. DNA, also thank you for gifting a tier one sub. And Haligonian89, thanks for those hundred bits. Commander, we've just received the support of another council member. You're all too, too kind. Trendy Kendi gifting out a tier one sub. Commander. <laughs> We've just received the support of another council member. They just keep coming and they don't stop coming. This is what, five fires? Oh my goodness, Anawam! <laughs> coming in with ten more. Ten more gifted subs. Welcome on in, everybody. Zilver, thanks for gifting a tier one sub to, uh, Biggie. The Waffle Love. Commander. We've just received the support what of the another heck? council member. What is even going on? What is even going on? Genito Janin. Commander, <laughs> regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. <laughs> Your discretion. We're actually just falling further in behind in the notifications now. What the heck? What the heck? Genito Janin. We've just Thanks for gifting a tier one sub. Of another council member. The saddest of all keys. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the council. Super Anago. Thanks for gifting a tier one sub to Doc Doctor Alec. Welcome, Doctor Alec. We've just received the support Houses. of another council thank member. Thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Trinin ninety eight. Zutharux. Thank you so much for the three months of tier one. And Shayland. Thank you Commander, so much for gifting another we sub just the to Narabar, 1991. Divine Intervention, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Sorker. That first gift sub Commander, in the channel, so nice to see. Just the support of another <laughs> council member. Stop subbing so that this man can play the, play the game. Eric Gridlock, thanks so much for those five tier Commander. one subs. We've just received the support of another council member. Houses. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Magic Pookie. Kareyu. Thanks for gifting a sub to... Excellent work, Commander. <laughs> this council is pleased just keeps to see our continued happening. support of this project has been... It just keeps while. happening. Bluffer Bloat. 
Zero percent sneaky gifting us up. Bluffer Blow gifting out five. We've just Welcome everybody. The support of another council member. K Man six hundred gifting up another one. Is there no end to the ridiculousity? Commander, we've just Is received there no the end? support of another council wow. member. Somewhere in the middle of that, by the way, we totally unlocked a new emote slot for the channel. Fun fact. Commander, regrettably, our briefs have recently been So we have a new emote slot Your to put a new emote into. In this matter which is pretty is heckin' expected. cool. Part of the cards, thank you so much for that gifting that tier one sub. We've just received the support of another council. Strabalier, Leet Nanas, and Luminescent, thank you each for those very generous bits. The Waffle Riot. Commander, we've just the received Waffle Riot. the support of another <laughs> Apple Tune 76, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh my goodness gracious. What on even the heck? What on even the heck? Where did that shoot us to? Well, sub points wise. So we were like at... Commander, yeah. <laughs> we just received the support of another. We were at 670 member. sub points a few minutes ago. Now we're at 730, so we just 60 subs just happened in a very short period of time. Commander, and it's not not even stopping. <laughs> Austin Fuego, thank you so much for that gifted sub. Discretion in this matter to Life Master. Expected. Thanks for the hundred bits. Commander, Let's, thanks for those bits. Just received the support of another council member. Don't even know what to say. I really don't. I think we just take a hundred gold for our starting bonus. By the way, to total total segue there, but oh my goodness gracious, my goodness gracious. Six streams per week now. Yeah, probably for the foreseeable future, indeed. Ipso Calypso, thanks so much for the continuing that gift sub. Cinemad, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Let me update the title. Didn't upgrade the title yet. Oh, it's upgraded. Final run of the ladder. Somebody did that for me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy moly. Holy moly. Alrighty. So I'm I'm pretty sure this is a hundred gold. Although Transform Two, we've just received the Transform Two could be very strong. Member. Get rid of one strike and one defend. We get two random cards added to the deck. That could be the kind of start that's needed to Commander, do like four we've elites. Just received the support of another three four member. elites. Take out the burning elite. Red Beardy McGee, thank you so much for that tier one sub. <laughs> Gifted out subs earlier, but wasn't even themselves Commander. gifted. We've just received the support of another Rama Lama Ding member. Dong, thanks so much for the two months. And Unyo, thank you so much for 1,500 waffles. Holy moly. I'm gonna transform two. Transform two. I'm feeling spicy. Metallicize Infernal Blade. It's an interesting start. I like that. One defensive card, one offensive card. They work pretty well. Infernal Blade's a good upgrade. I don't think that's good enough that I'm willing to to take a four elite path. Choo choo. Jimi Hendrick, last but certainly not least, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Commander, we've just received the support of another Holy council moly. member. Choo choo indeed. That was that was ridiculous. <laughs> Been streaming for nearly two years now, and I don't think I've anything don't think I've seen anything quite like that. So Thank you so much, everybody. Commander I'm blown away in the best way here. Received the support of another Sorry. council member. Probably. Probably. Look at these first couple fights go. Excellent work, Commander. Herbalan. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. And a vision. I don't know if I thanked you already, but thanks again for the four months. If I missed anybody in that ridiculous, ridiculous show of generosity while well, the well, the notifications are catching up, seriously, thank you, everybody. 
Hey Saban, you are you're here for it. This is the A20 run of the letter streak. Of this letter streak. Regrettably, our briefs have For better or worse, this is the last one. Your discretion in this matter is expected. For better or worse, this is the last one. We're fighting Hexagos. Like a four really months young. of support. We are extremely. You're wrong with a sword boomerang. I love sword boomerang. Good with any kind of strength, which we're probably going to be looking to acquire. Eh. Definitely happy with an early metallic size. Since the steel's good, shrug's good. Shrug is good. Don't think we want a blood for blood, don't think we want a body slam. If Baylor wins, I subscribe. Whoa there, first day in. Hold on. Not ready for that kind of commitment just yet, okay? You just slow your roll. Just a little, just a little bit. Slow that roll. Take your roll, slow it. Okay, so here's our first and very important question. Do we go left and get one, two, three, four campfires and two elites and maybe go for the late shop? Or do we go right, get the immediate shop, take out the burning elite in act one, and then either two or three elites, depending. See if the shop has a searing blow. Uh, left late shop. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. We get um, we can upgrade Infernal Blade to make it free, which is I think pretty impactful. We can upgrade Bash, maybe Sword Boomerang, even upgrade the Shrug it off with an extra upgrade. Doesn't mean we have to do a hard pull fight, but I think we'll be okay. We got good blocks. We got good blocks. My favorite turn one, though. Do 20 in one turn, right? Deal six damage, add a copy of this card to your discard pile. Actually, that flex is kind of good, too. Hmm. Gain two strength at the end of this turn, lose two strength. Do I already know what the new emote's gonna be? I've got a couple emotes in the works. Um, Chronometrics is uh, working on a couple for us, so give them a poke and... See if we can get those uh, put in quickly. But I, I do have a Baylor Boop emote in the pipeline coming forward. And I'd like to get a couple of others made as well. Baylor Ladder. Yeah, I think that's a good one. That's a good one. That's actually a shockingly good flex. I like that flex. I like that flex. I'm going to take a flex here. And we're going to look to add more card draw and stuff. Hey, look at that. Look at that. New strength for the Bomberang. Richie Pot would kill. Try to fight an elite, though. Take the damage. Let's do this. Cult is still a little bit of a scary proposition here. Might have to take some damage next turn. Or I could just draw Flex again. Dang, Flex. Putting in work there. I mean... I'm not gonna not take a Feel No Pain, right? There's no way. It already synergizes with the Infernal Blade. 
Whenever a card is exhausted, gain three block. Definitely one of Ironclad's best. Let's us pick up so many things that are very good. And very good against sentries, too. Pick an event. Yes. Hey, the Eternal... the in, <laughs> Eternal Blade. Infernal Blade gets upgraded for free. Which means we're free to now upgrade the Flex as well. Going into this Elite Fight. Making it four strength for one turn. And with an Energy Potion and 47 health, I'm very confident in this Act 1 Elite Fight. Very confident. That's a little scary. I mean, we just go bash strike, right? Uh, that's gonna be... 21, leaving Gremlin Nub at 24 health. Maybe I energy potion here. Another nine. Yeah, it's reasonable to energy potion here to try to get the kill. There might be something powerful in the Infernal Blade. And I might not need to. But yeah, it might be Iron Wave, it might be Clash, and then I wouldn't be able to play it at all. I'm gonna play this a little safe. Every time we play 10 attacks, gain an energy, says Nunchaku, and hey... Welcome to the team, Fiendfire, feel no pain. Uh-huh. Go ahead and upgrade that. Rico Pillow? Could be a lifesaver. Probably gonna, yeah, should probably take this. I don't currently see a place where I'm going to rest, but man, if I, if I need this, I'm gonna really want it. So let's take it. Um, am I in a place where I can actually upgrade this Feel No Pain already? Oh, I am. Oh, boy. Although the Bash upgrade is going to be important, too. Where the Bash upgraded? As a starting bonus, we took, uh, Transform two cards. We turned one Strike and one Defend into Metallicize Infernal Blade. And that has worked out pretty well so far. Man, I wish I could afford the Dark Embrace and the Medical Kit. With the Feel No Pain, that is a good Medical Kit, and it's also a very good Medical Kit going into, oh, I don't know, Hexaghost here. Help us get rid of those burns. Dark Embrace is also potentially very, very good. Whenever you exhaust a card, draw a card. The damn powerful effects. Especially with the Fiendfire already in the deck. Yeah, so our only ever chance at medkit. I'd take it. To make uh, something like a power through a really good take. Do we want an armaments? Ah. Mm. Kind of? Huh. 
Yeah, I can already smell the pyramid, right? <laughs> like, if we get a runic pyramid off of Hexaghost, oh my god, this run. This run would be the bangerang. Turn. Upgrade this, because it's going to duplicate. Uh, and we want to direct damage to you. Feel no pain, Fiendfire? Just Fiendfire? Metallicize Fiendfire. Good enough. health to be on for Hexaghost. Somewhere between 36 and 48. I'll make sure we can do it if damage. A little bit worried about Hexaghost damage-wise. Let's see what we can do. Ajra, plus one strength. That definitely helps. Second Sword Boomerang works too. I don't think I'm going to take a, a Berserk. We could also take Cleave to get some AoE going, but I do feel like we're mostly in need of help against Hexaghost. Second Sword Boomerang with a Flex. Yeah. Take one more of those. Very red set of relics, isn't it? Oh man, and I get to transform another Strike card into who knows what here. Come on, permanent Strength gain of some kind. Limit Break, Demon Form, and Flame. Juggernaut. Actually really good. Whenever you gain block, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. That's, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. This run is off to a pretty dang good start, chat. Not to jinx anything, but... I like the way this is headed. I like the way this is headed. Entropic Brew? Okay, two potions in one, and there's the strength in Flame! Gain two strength, but but the Searing Blow. But the Searing Blow. Holy crap, this deck. I think we upgrade in Flame here. But the Searing Blow, no! The tragedy. Oh, get dug, Texaghost. Get dunked on. The Metallicize procs the Juggernaut every turn. The Feel No Pain procs the Juggernaut all the time. Lord. Good Lord. Offering. Lose six health, gain two energy, draw three cards. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Strong card. This is why we put Ironclad at the top of the ladder. Because Ironclad does the hottest nonsense of all of us. What's it going to be, boss relic-wise? Rubbing our hands together in prayer for... 
burning pyramid. That one's pretty good too. I mean, yeah, fiend fire snake why That's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it more than you know. Uh, the other two options aren't even that good, right? Black blood replace burning blood. Heal twelve every combat, or Sacred Bark, double the effectiveness of potions. Both of those pale in comparison to how strong Sineko Eye is under the right circumstances. And a Fiend Fire is definitely the right circumstance. It does make some of our zero-cost stuff a little awkward. We actually want the Infernal Blade unupgraded now, but that's too late. A couple, couple things that aren't that favorable, but we'll change that. We'll change that for sure. So the only thing that we're really lacking right now is some max health. I tend to find that Sneko is a little brutal towards me when we first pick it up. Um, hmm. Gotta do a elite off of relatively little help here. Thinking up going the left side, go elite fire, 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 elite fire. Oh, this way it works too, actually. Oh, actually, maybe we go to this shop. This way, this shop. Let's do that. Our boss is the Collector, who is terrifying. Collector on any Ascension level is super... Well, not a... a, a collector on Ascension 20 is, in particular, super terrifying. Super terrifying. <laughs> Thanks, Infernal Blade! Appreciate that. We're gonna scooch over a little bit here so you can see the hand a bit better. That's actually just a kill, right? Twelve damage, two weaken. It's a two-cost card. That's really all I need. So the pummel's kinda cool too. But I definitely like adding a source of weaken. It's another mitigation. High value card. We go event, event, this shop. And then we're gonna take the Burning Elite on? Am I? I think so. Definitely fighting the Red Mask Gang. You encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello! A reasonable fee of all your gold will do. How about I take your mask and your money? How about that? How about that? Kill no pain here. I think we're just killing Pointy on turn one, so we don't take the damage. I think I need to play Feel No Pain. Cool, Iron Wave is cool. In that case, I'm gonna go for. Let's see, this is 11, 9, 10, 30. 30 damage. We go for Romeo. My sword boomerang. Now we go for Romeo. Might have been a strength potion. And then I could have killed Bear on turn one. But we got the Fiend Fire here, so that's fine. Do this. Bear, no! Bear no. Nice. No damage taken. Get the red mask. Start of each combat apply one week to all enemies. And a reaper. Yes. And a reaper. And a Reaper. Alright, I think I'm taking the Swift Potion over this Strength Potion. Because it helps me draw to towards Fiend Fire. I'm feeling comfortable about the Burning Elite now, so we're gonna go- we're gonna fight the Burning Elite. Get the Swift Pot. <laughs> ah, I like this event. Oh my god. This run really wants me to win.
It's gotta be the fiend fire that we duplicate, right? I think it's gotta be fiend fire. It's gonna just let us win so many fights on turn one. There's definitely arguments for duplicating Feel No Pain, for duplicating a Reaper, for duplicating Offering, for duplicating the Juggernaut or the Inflame, but I, I think it's got to be the Fiend Fire that we duplicate here. Duplicate Ascender's Bane for the maximum Feel No Pain value. It's the big plays. Yeah, we need that Dark Embrace back so bad. So bad. Choose between membership card and shockwave. What do you mean? Remember, we what do you mean? will be watching. <laughs> Yogi Burn, thanks for the five bucks. Snekoi is a type of runic pyramid, isn't it? Isn't it? This is a stupid choice. I don't like this choice. Uh, I think the, the membership card's gonna make us longer, it's stronger in the long run, which is where we need to be right now, is stronger in the long run. We're very strong right now, with two Fiend Fires and a Sneko Eye. Let's make the long-term investment. Pick up the membership card, effectively doubling all of our money for the rest of the run. I'm doing it. And then my money was taken from me. Disaster. Uh... Potions. Yeah, no fiend fire on turn one. What a ripoff! Stupid pants. Killing to full anyway. Madness. Lame Barrier, 12 block. Whenever we attack this turn, do 4 damage back. Gives us a big, beefy block card that also does damage. I love it. I love it. It says 2 on it! Quick! Click on it! Click on it immediately. Probably gonna upgrade armaments, yeah. Now that we're drawing lots of cards, the armaments upgrade becomes a lot better. Case in point. Oh no, not confusion. However, will I adjust? Is kind of cute, Trigrit, Headbutt, meh. Unupgraded, non two cost cards. I don't know if I can be bothered. If I upgrade Offering with Armaments, it does not go back to zero cost. No, Brosazog. That only happens for cards that change their cost to zero when upgraded. The Offering upgrade is two more cards drawn, so it won't affect the cost. Won't affect the cost. Pride of Cloud, in six months of trying this challenge, I have not beaten it. Actually, are we at like eight months now? Oh my god. We started this in August, right? Started this in August. That is stupid pants. Commander, Double we've just fire. received the support of another council member. Hmm. 
I was like, this is Fiend Fire and then Swift Potion? That's so weird, though. I play the offering before the Feel No Pain. Um, because the offering costs three. So I couldn't do it the other way around. Unless that was a zero cost Feel No Pain, in which case I don't know why that I did that. Was free? Okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> no idea! Not a clue. Wait. I did that in the wrong order? Yes. Okay, let's power pot here. Okay. Uh, I don't think I did that very well. We're getting attacked now. For an unknown but potentially large amount of damage. At least we get to clothesline the leader here, I think. Can't kill the fat gremlin, though. Mildly annoying. We have the wizard. Hmm. Plus seven does not kill. Oh, shoot. I can't kill these metallicizing nerds. Take the regal pillow. Okay, we just gotta survive this. will be... I can kill the... the fat gremlin. Guaranteed. I think that's what I have to do. Do flex and flame and then one attack. We could try to kill with sword boomerang, but I think that's gonna result in disaster. Actually in a bit of trouble here. Because you'll have a lot of block next turn, too. This is very scary. Real talk, this is terrifying. Ouch! Good. Okay, that looks fine. That looks fine. Six. Okay, good. If this hits four times here, not enough, right? We'll get demon form down. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Get me out of here, please. <laughs> okay, so that was not well played by me, but we lived, and we can recover all of our health. So that's important. We do get our green key. Yeah, A20 is no joke. That was that was the super elite, so probably one of the harder fights we're going to have to deal with here. Oh, God. Why did I do that to myself? Okay, Ancient Tea Set with Sneko Eye is very good. Happily take that. Just gotta survive this set of nerds. Take my health back, thank you very much. Maybe don't even end up needing to rest. Does the wizard always attack twice, or is that special to A20? On Ascension, um, 17 and above is when the wizard changes its behavior. Normally, the ch wizard charges for two turns, then does a 30 damage attack, and then has to charge for three more turns to get the second attack down. But on Ascension, 17, 
the wizard, once charged, will attack every single turn. Which is terrifying. Basically no cards left in deck, I draw actually every card I have. Pretty cute. Okay, attack potion's good. Shrug it off is good. More block. More card draw. Be happy with a shrug here. Okay. Let's slow it down a little bit. Good Reaper. Not actually a terrible idea. I like the Juggernaut upgrade. I like the Feel No Pain upgrade. I like the Flame Barrier upgrade. With the feel no pain. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's fine. I actually like the waffle here quite a bit. Max health is really important. It also guarantees that I can just upgrade, continue to upgrade without having to worry about a rest. Ashes would have been so good. We take double tap too. Before I make any decisions here, I'm going to take one, probably the final bathroom break of the night. Just calm down a little bit after that Grimmel leader fight. Make sure my decisions are well thought through. Come Whatever turn. One of our most valued. This run supporters. reaches its exciting conclusion, one way or the other. Bot three nine three. Thank project. you so much for those nine months of tier one support. So very appreciated. I'll be right back, everyone.
Alrighty, everybody, we are back. Thank you so much for that patience. What do I like here? We need a certain number of skills in the deck. So that we don't, like, run out of cards. I think I do want the Waffle. I think I do want to remove a card. Could just take out an unupgraded strike. We got the boomerangs to do all the work. Got the boomerangs to do all the work. Collector's gonna be interesting. Maybe we do want Carnage. Let's take a Carnage. Let us take a Carnage. Maybe even upgrade it. Let's upgrade Juggernaut. Did we ever take a Strength Pot for the potentially big Reaper? That's, I think, worth a little bit of consideration. Not none. Only not none consideration. Nice zero cost fiend fire, hot damn. Hot damn. Turn one. Turn two. Good turn three. Good relic two. Incense burner every six turns gives us one intangible. A gambler's brew is top tier here, letting us discard any number of cards with Sneko Eye. And we're offered Pummel Strike plus, Sever Soul plus, Wild Strike plus. Pretty cool, the Pummel Strike. It's more card draw, which we definitely appreciate. Could take Sever Soul to exhaust stuff in our hand, but with two Fiend Fires, it feels like we're already doing that more than we'd want to. And we already have a medical kit to get rid of any status cards. We could add status cards with Wild Strike. No, we'll take the Pummel Strike. Take the Pummel Strike. Figuring out how to set up Incense Burner for Collector. No setup required, because we're not allowed <laughs> to have any. Uh, let's get... Let's get these Sword Boomerangs upgraded. Leverage our strength. Don't feel like upgrading Offering with the Centennial Puzzle. We're already basically going to full health. Or uh, not full health, full, full hand. Um, whenever we draw it. Am I willing to use a Fiend Fire yet? No, I'm not. I'm gonna go Flex, Close Line, Strike, Boomerang. Yeah. Power through a Snap Pick? Yes. Very yes. And this puts the Chucky on nine. We have to add Barricade at the stage and Dark Embrace. Barricade, Dark Embrace. The number one big one is Corruption, but also Demon Form. Pretty much anything that's like a power with high cost and is rare, <laughs> basically. Uh, huh. Just take the damage. Don't want to fiend fire until the feel no pain is down. For the most part. Let's see what this gets. Rampage. Also, just dunk a torch head. A torch head, this one. Three cost juggernaut. I think we're playing that anyway. Should we play Fumo Pain? Here we are. 
Okay, if I play all this, I'm left with a whole lot in the deck. Not yet, I say. I don't know if I'm playing... I want to play clothesline here, so I gotta know if that's acceptable first. Or I flex. Cool. Is that damage significantly? We're intangible next turn. Good. Got attacked. Here we go. Bash, Hummel Strike. This is 15 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 90, plus 7 times 8. That should be enough. GG. Corruption? Oh, those are pretty good too. Those are also pretty good. Double our strength. Another offering or barricade, which says block is not removed at the start of our turn. We do tend to accumulate large amounts of block whenever we fiend fire with the feel no pain down. And being able to keep that would be really nice. Barricade is definitely an effective way to scale. Let's put us... How are we doing against Awaken 1? Let's check in against that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 powers. A lot against Awaken 1, potentially. We'll have to keep that in mind as we go. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the Fusion Hammer here. Gives us an extra energy every turn, but prevents us from upgrading anymore. Certainly not taking Sneko Pyramid, although with the two Fiend Fires, it might actually almost work. But uh, I'm, I'm quite content to take the, the Fusion Hammer here. Gain energy at server turn, no longer upgrade at rest sites. Is fine. What were the other options? Act, uh, yeah, our Act 1 other boss relics weren't that good, so I don't think we could have held out for Runic Pyramid here. Let's go Fusion Hammer. Can the bell drop dead branch? It could. We don't have the uh, corruption to go with it. No awakened one sighted so far. I'd like to fight three elites, reasonably speaking. Don't necessarily need any. I guess we're going to go to a couple shops here. I'm not going to this shop. Uh, actually, I could. Now, hold on a minute. I totally could do that. Got the Rigo pillow too. That's good. Come on, Dead Branch, where you at? I need ya. I need ya. Four energy, four energy Sneko is just so dang comfy. Wait, Juggernaut's gonna destroy, though. Double your block. Double your fun. Double your maximum health by donating a rare card. Hmm. 
If I give up a rare card here, we'll gain 10 max health and heal a full. I don't think I want to give up Offering. I definitely don't want to give up Juggernaut or Fiendfire or Fiendfire or Reaper or Barricade. So maybe we just give up a basic? Because I don't want to give up any of these rare cards. And Max Elf. Metallicize isn't rare. Now, anything with a gold border on top is rare. Metallicize is uncommon. The blue border there. And check the Flex. I like, I like Flex more than I like Strike. We'll check a strike into the bonfire. We'll check a strike into the bonfire. Double your max health? No, not double your max health. Plus 10. Plus 10 to max health, not double. Only. If only it was double. Potion, though. I don't think I want to use it here. I'm okay with the attack potion here. Use the attack potion here. Enough. 21. Do 12 more. 11? What do you mean 11? Alright, Infernal Blade. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I have Reaper anyway, but I can't gain that much strength off the Reaper. I can only, you know, I can only play in Flame and then Flex. So the amount of healing we have from the Reaper is capped. At a fairly low number here. been okay for Entrench. Okay, big damage headed our way, or is it? Oh my. Actually, not even 30 block. Really would like a second copy of Filna Pain. Very much would. Uh, if I can gain... If I can stall to up the incense burner here, I really should do that. We're going into an elite fight next. We go shop, fire, elite. So it's actually, because we're forced to rest at that, well, I'll probably recall it the fire. Try to gain some block. Well, actually, no, we're just going to kill it by accident, right? I can stall for one turn, realistically. We'll do that. But yeah, the jug, pre the jug prevents me from stalling. For the most part. There's that shockwave we skipped earlier. Definitely happy to have that now. Apply three weak and three vulnerable to all of our foolish, foolish foes. Um, duh. <laughs> this store seems pretty okay. 
Feel no pain and an orange pellets. And a speed potion maybe to go with the orange pellets too. Do we want orange pellets? They w It will remove our confusion. Which is maybe not necessarily a good thing. But it will also remove, you know, vulnerable and frail and stuff. Hmm. I could that could go in a couple different directions. Definitely, definitely taking the feel no pain. Hundred hundred percent of the time we make that purchase. Dark shackles could be good here. Reaper number two could be good here. If I had the money for it, I'd consider buying Boat Thingy for that turn two block. I don't know, I'm not actually upset. Like, our deck is pretty expensive, but... I'm not too upset with orange pellets here. Metamorphosis does not keep the attacks at zero with Sneko Eye. Oh yeah, pellets for flex too. Pellets for speed potion. I'm gonna take these pellets. I think we can get more use out of them than detriment. So now if we play a power attack and a skill in the same turn, we remove all of our debuffs. We'll sometimes deliberately avoid doing. Reasonable amount of health to lose. Rip. Splitter opener. We play three skills in one turn, deal some damage to all enemies. Demon form at the start of your turn, gain two strength. Yup. That lets me do a lot of hot nonsense with a Reaper, in particular. The random cost for now. Good. Very good. For now. Let me get it up for now. Let's back up the full here. I think with the clothesline and the shockwave, we don't need another clothesline. Not an unupgraded one, anyway. Blue key here. Smiling mask, that's cool. Totally happy with that. Transients could be a little ugly. Depending. I think it free bludgeons, though. 
Probably not then. I'm just gonna... Gonna find out what Orange Pellets does for us. I suppose. So with no with no confusion anymore, our cards that are coming out of the draw pile are now normal cost. Do this. There's a lot of good cards there. Transient's beautiful in its own way. It is. Transient is a is a neat little creature of the spire. For certain. For big certain. A flex there. Glorious. Look at that twenty bajillion strong. As it should be. Pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Legend's cute. I think with the with the orange pellets, I don't want to add that many three cost cards to the deck. So I don't know that I want Bludgeon just because there's a Bludgeon here. Sneko costed cards remain at the randomized cost. That's right, Dirt Licker. Anything that we've already drawn at a non-normal non cost will stay that way once the confusion is removed. A barricade upgrade, actually not a bad idea. I think that's probably fairly prudent. Probably fairly prudent. There's Barricade. Armaments will make that cheaper. Play this. Play this. You barricade Fiend Fire, that's really risky. Risky. This guy could give me a curse. That's pretty much my only goal here: is don't get cursed. Also, don't lose all that. Also, don't lose that much health. Those are my two goals. Um, let's just re back the health. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Pretty funny, actually. Give me another fiend fire. Give me another fiend fire. So I'm gonna close line. And if this rolls into curse, we'll uh re-roll it. Otherwise we'll just keep it like that. Tangible on this turn, seems fine. Avoiding playing attacks that might make it curse me. Ooh, 
Ooh, liquid memories. Uh, that's pretty good. Liquid memories is possibly better than Gambler's Brew, I think. You better believe I'm gonna take two more fights of the elite variety. Do I want two orange pellets here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now I do. Barricade armaments? Yeah. Then we can remove confusion. Mind if I do? Oh, and once we burn the deck down with the fiend fires, we actually draw the entrench way more often. Oh, I like I like this. Oh, I like this. Definitely like this. Checking what I want, like, incense burner set to. Gotta say, medical kit has been mostly useless. Did not find any power throughs. Just gonna stall a little bit here. One seems fine. Self-forming clay. Whenever we lose health, gain additional block next turn. Uh, what do I choose between Dark Embrace and Body Slam? I have to pick? What do you mean I have to pick one? <laughs> What do you mean I have to pick one? Uh, yeah, body slam for woke blow. With the removing confusion, drawing that many cards isn't even that necessarily a. Well, yes, it is with the intro. I don't know where people are getting those hey, damn advent burgers. But if I find another wrapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be Thank you so much for 12 months of Twitch Prime. Let's take a body slam. Let's take the body slam. I'm immediately unimpressed. Kaka! Kaka! Cheers there, level 100. What's my thought for Act 4 looking like? Not too worried about Act 4 at the moment. Feeling pretty good. Definitely feeling fairly good here. Heck yeah. Looking to maybe use a potion to beat the Spiral Eats. If we line up Incense Burner for turn two of Spiral Eats, we can give ourselves a much easier time. Amongst a couple of other things that we could do. Start with Flex. Okay, 
Turn two is perfect time to be intangible in case we fight Reptomancer. One more shrug. There's Reptomancer. Joke's on you, Reptomancer. She don't even need to kill the daggers because of that. Oh my. Yeah, my, my plan for Act 4 is to do something like this. <laughs> Genuinely just, whatever whatever happened here, I would like to repeat it. Whatever you call this. Sounds great to me. want to get uh, Incense Burner set up for Donu Deca here. Turn two, probably. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. C. Cole, thank you so much for those two months of Tier 1 support. Totally heckin' like and appreciated. Glad you're enjoying the content. I know I am today. Let's see, we want to next turn kill, next turn kill. Toy Ornithopter will heal us when we use potions, that's pretty good, and I'm definitely taking an impervious. Gain 30 block, you say? Well, I don't mind if I do. Alright. This is officially tying the best attempt of the ladder streak has ever had. Important rest, <laughs> right? Right? This is officially the best we've ever done. Right here. Actually, just gonna tank this hit, I think. Do I even get Shockwave down? I think I do, yeah. Let's just play the Shockwave, strip the artifact. Don't play the Fiend Fire, I don't want to lose Entrench. I don't think. Get three more cards for next turn. Yeah. Let's take that damage. Heal it back up. Perfect. So we'll activate Orange Pellets here. Flow through you. Skill. Power. Skill. Attack. So we're just going to be a little patient here. Want well, turn two in vulnerability again. But I also want to be at full health. So I'm going to have to go around a couple times. Just got to be sure the Juggernaut doesn't kill too quick.
Do you want to kill when this is four? GG! One boss down, one to go. It is the Awakened One, who might give us some trouble here. Might. Not too worried, personally. But this is why we set up Incense Burner for turn two. Definitely gonna play Feel No Pain here. Do I just play this Impervious right away? I think so. Feel No Pain... I don't want to activate... Orange pellets, do I? No, I don't. Not yet. The time is not yet right. So I think maybe then I don't play any skills. We actually just take this damage. Go feel no pain. Close line awaken one to keep them weak. Uh, Carnage sword boomerang. I could even fiend fire, but I don't want to lose the impervious. But I, I do think we deliberately take this 16 damage to draw three more cards. A big old Sneko hand, we try to get powers down next turn. Every time we play a power, Awakened One is getting two points of strength, which is a little terrifying. We can probably outblock them with, you know, barricade and trench, but a couple of things do have to go correct for any of that to happen. Oh, man, I'm so glad I, uh, so glad I didn't activate Orange Pellets there. We got a zero-cost Barricade, a zero-cost Entrench, two zero-cost Shrug It Offs. The powers that we, uh, the, we're going to lock in our costs here so that everything in the discard pile costs this. Costs exactly this. Yeah, we're going to have a zero-cost Clothesline, really good cost to lock in here. Power? Skill? Armaments? It's very good. It'll make the body slam free and then we can play our attack. Okay, perfect. I'm not gonna play the inflame yet. So I'm actually gonna body slam now. So that the confusion wears off before I draw here. Oh, I was supposed to flex. That's fine. We got a demon form. It's not gonna matter. This is not gonna matter at all. Awakened One is definitely gonna be at our mercy here. Just wanna do barricade and trench things. I have a fusion hammer, I have to rest. So we don't care about Reaper. Heart. It's a little bit more well controlled. Okay, the demon form we can actually. Do I? I didn't even need to play demon form. <laughs> Whatever. I think we got it.
So it's very important that we end this fight with the Incense Burner on four. Because that'll make us invulnerable for turn two of the Spire Elites fight, and that is incredibly, incredibly important. The most important thing. Here, we want to draw a Body Slam. Perfect. I would like to upgrade the Nunchaku a little bit, too. Oop. GG. The A20 run is on to Act 4. Is this the end of the Ladder Strike? Commander, is it happening? Regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter Teach. is expected. Thank you so much for those very generous 10 gifted subs. We have 186 gold and a membership card to spend at this shop. Pocket watch? Play three or less cards during our turn, draw three additional cards on the next turn. Could take a speed pot. I don't think we want that though. Could take Frozen Eye <laughs> to see the the cards in the right draw order. Does that actually help me? Kind of. I can do Frozen Eye and Oddly Smooth Stone. Plus one Dex would be good. I would help a lot. It would let me know if I get Orange Pelt's procs for heart on turn two. Pocket Watch is so strong, though. Hmm. Tough call. Might not matter. Do I want another Speed Pot over Memories? No, I actually don't. The reasoning for this is because I want to be able to Liquid Memories and Trench to double my block again. And that's going to be a lot better than five decks will be. To go from like 200 to 400 block the one time. But that's this is definitely the intended target for that Liquid Memories. That or like getting Barricade or Demon Form into play if I somehow miss it the first time. Let's... Yeah, let's go... let's do the Frozen Eye Oddly Smooth Stone thing. We'll see how that works. Let's see how that works. It's a little, the lucky Frozen Eye. Commander, the aliens are the disturbing. The aliens are disturbing. Sigamon, thank you so much for the five months of Tier 1 support. So, Shockwave applies vulnerable. This is then going to be 11 times... Nine? Times 1.5, so 16 times nine is equal to 144 damage if we Shockwave Offering Fiendfire, which can kill Spire Shield immediately. Commander, one of our... That's pretty crazy. Most valued supporters. Says continued support of the XCOM. Cheesy Bomb, thank you so much for the eight months. That looks really good. That's just like the fight solved, no potions used, basically full health. I don't have any room to complain. Not have any room to complain. Easy, breezy, beautiful demon form. I have to play this with to kill. 
16 times 7. 112. Not enough. So I can do Demon Form Fiend Fire, but not Armaments Demon Form Fiend Fire. It's probably Demon Form? Could be Flame Barrier, could be Clothesline. We're intangible next turn, so we don't really care about the Weaken. We should be getting all of our health back. Just gonna do Demon Form. Got him. Want to set up the incense burner for heart, ideally on four. Drawing sword boomerang. Difficult to not kill here. Three, three is also fine, for the record. Yeah, three is fine. As long as it's not on two. Three is fine. Here you go, Mini Minotaur. Happy you're here. Or a Calcum. We enter, block with, enter turn without block, gain six. Time for the final fight. One way or another, this ladder streak ends here. It's been a wonderful journey, everybody. Let's go. Good start. That's a great start. Barricade turn one. Yes. Barricade turn one. Let's go. Let's go. The entrench is coming up on turn two. Totally beautiful. It is happening. So I think I want to take the deliberate damage from Beat of Death here. Every time we take Beat of Death, uh, firstly, we're going to draw three cards from Centennial, Centennial Puzzle. Secondly, we're going to gain three block from the Self-Forming Claim next turn. And that is going to carry over from turn to turn because we're going to have Barricade in play this turn no matter what. No matter what this costs, we get to play the Barricade. Probably going to activate orange pellets just out of necessity. Zero cost barricade. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Offering will draw three more. I don't want to draw entrench this turn, do I? Or do I actually just want to go, like, infinite block right now? No, no, no. We want to we wanna do the, the stuff next turn. Next turn we have... No attacks. Unless I shrug into Reaper. Barely matters, quite frankly. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. Oops, I didn't actually mean to gain block there. Get the demon form down, we just play all the powers. Don't play any attacks. Believe is the plan.
Okay. And the pots are for next turn. Okay, we Void and burn are in scary places, but not too scary. Oh yeah, we draw seven cards. What am I on about? I can do power attack skill here. But only if I don't play Entrench. Flex Shockwave, Juggernaut, Reaper? We play the we are potion extremely here. Impressed. Ziller, thank you so much for the four months of tier one. We're intangible next turn. Yeah, I think we want to pellets here. We already have the demon form and the barricade down. Like, these being normal cost is really good. So let's do it. Here. Power. Remember, skill, we will be watching. Attack. Hit down third. Donis Incarnate! Commander, Thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. Our briefs have recently been contaminated. Regrettably, the Your briefs have been contaminated. In this matter is expected. Flame berry arm this turn feeling good. We're not out of the woods yet, mind you. We are definitely getting closer. Guy boomerang body slam fiend fire. We don't actually don't actually play the flame barrier. Draw the wound and the armaments. Fire here. Here's where we liquid memories the entrench. Two hundred and six block. Let's do this. Let's do this. Entrench! Body slam! Let's freaking go Twitch chat. It's been done! G. G. Commander, regrettably, G -G. our briefs have recently been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Don't think I've ever seen a chat get that hype before. Holy moly, everybody. Commander, regrettably, our... What is even happening in my Twitch chat? discretion in this matter is expected. Oh my god. All right, chat. Commander, the aliens are Let's disturbing. look at some art. Commander, regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. Well, let's Your look at some discretion art. discretion in this matter is expected. Commander, regrettably, <laughs> our briefs have been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. <laughs> you broke the hype train. I'm pretty sure you all just Commander, broke the hype train. Regrettably, our briefs have recently been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter <laughs> is expected. Uh, I have to open Streamlabs just to like try to figure out where this Commander, even began. Regrettably, our briefs have recently oh my been Lord. contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. Well, heck. <laughs> Commander, 
We've just received the support of another council member. How does it feel? It feels wonderful to finally have succeeded at this challenge after trying for so many months. Commander, like I said, we've been at this since just August. The support of another council so member. over six months of attempts to make this magical moment happen. Commander, regrettably, our briefs have recently Holy been crap. contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. You open the recent events. I got some thank yous to hand out. Way too many. Commander, way too many. <laughs> our briefs have recently <laughs> been contaminated. Your discretion in this matter is expected. Discretion in this matter is sure expected. We uh... <laughs> Finally, it's finally been done. And you know what, chat? I've had a couple people ask me, what do we do now after the ladder streak? Commander, regrettably, our briefs have Obviously. been contaminated. Your discretion in this There's got to be an encore expected. of some kind. Although not right now, to be, to be clear. But, Commander... We've just received in celebration the of another council member. Achieving the ladder streak, finally. We're gonna do it again in reverse. From Ascension 20. Going in Commander, reverse character order. Trying to get back down to Ascension 1. Consecutive wins. Your discretion in this matter is expected. Just to show how much less time it would have taken if I'd done that from the very beginning. <laughs> Commander, we've just received the support of another council member. Just to show off how much easier... I, I imagine it would have only taken a couple of weeks, you know, if we were going reverse. But, uh, I'm so, so happy we did this the hard way. One of our so, so happy we did this the hard way. Supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM project. Amazing. Absolutely Commander, amazing. Our briefs have recently been All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute these, uh... Discretion alerts for a minute and give out some expected. thank yous here. Holy moly. I'll keep playing on screen. Where do I begin? Oh man. HMS Churchill, thank you so much for the five months. Ben the Pigeon, thanks for the prime sub. Dollar Cave Schlub, gifting out four tier one subs, thank you so much. Trendy Candy, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. Mom, get the camera. Get Shiggy with it, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thunderous Knights, thank you for the 14 months. Watsi Woo, Cheesy Bob, and Life Master, thank you all for those gifted sub bombs. JDK2209, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. They're actually like intertwined in the Streamlabs display, so it's not even easy to see who gave out how many subs. It's all happening at the same time. Austin Fuego, Adorable Clocko, Cowses, thank you all for the generosity. Kirk, thank you so much for that eight-month resub. Low Life Set-In, thanks so much for that tier one sub. Welcome to the council. Niddles, thanks for gifting a sub to Misty Ice Drops. Flygon331, thank you so much for those 1,200 bits. Kalu Durin, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Thanatos. Mr. DNA, thanks for gifting a sub to Dorian. To Life Master, thanks for the 100 bits. Udaspear, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sea Coral sneaking in there with a hundred dollar donation. While we, while no one was looking. While no one was looking, thanks for the hundred dollar donation. One hundred subs during that hype train. Holy heck. Dark Rims, thank you so much for the the gifted sub bomb. Smiling Bandit, thank you so much for the twenty dollar donation. Darid, thanks so much for the two month. Prime, Resub, Dirt Licker, and Darkrims. Thanks for those gift sub bombs. Thanks for the bits, Flygon, Grenolf, Lil Paxi, Snopy NZ, Makani87, and Anonymous. Epona21, thanks for that gifted sub. Zutherux, thanks for gifting a sub. Idrios, thank you so much for gifting subs to various folks. Progzar with the additional gift sub. Luminescen with 1500 bits. Melak, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Kirk, Criminal Peace, and Faley, thank you all for the gift sub bombs. Divine Intervention, thanks for gifting that sub to 12 Yoshi. Zenthulu, and I Gylids, thank you so much for the five subs. And thank you 
for playing. Saberwolf TV, thanks so much for the Prime sub. Behold, Adam, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Seacold, thanks for the second hundred dollar donation. Yes, thank you for the second hundred dollar donation. Holy moly, that 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 is far too generous. Far too generous. Behold, Adam and J Merc, thank you each for the 1500 bits. <laughs> CC Priest, Cyril Ghost. T20, thank you all for the bits. Elismo, thank you so much for the three months of Prime. Ace Kev, thanks for 600 bits. And Selden Christ as well, thanks for the sub. Sorker, thanks for gifting a sub. Adam Penguin, thanks for gifting a sub. Dan Fresh, thanks for gifting a sub. And K-Man, thanks for gifting a sub. That, that right there. Yeah, that Gremlin Leader fight though, right? That right there is definitely... Definitely the highlight of my streaming career and something I think we've been building towards for more than six months now. Holy, holy heck. Update the money bar. <laughs> um, I actually don't know where that's at, but it's at a big number now. I have no idea. <laughs> How do I even begin to total this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. chat. Uh, chat. <laughs> Here, we'll turn the server alerts back on. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has Only been a win. Yeah, I don't think I can, I don't think I can stop streaming. I don't think I can stop streaming after that. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued We gotta celebrate that somehow. This project has been worthwhile. We gotta celebrate that somehow. We can do some Slay the Streamer. Let's do some Slay the Streamer. Been, I promised a Watcher Slay the Streamer a while ago. So we should definitely, definitely have some fun with that in celebration. In celebration of a fully successful ladder streak. The Spire sleeps, and so shall I, Twitch chat. What a legendary streak. All the way from Lowly Ascension 1 here on Silent with a Calling Bell boss relic swap into glorious, glorious success. Glorious, glorious success. If you're wondering, all 20 of these runs are going to be highlighted and put on YouTube. For sure. For permanent, permanent viewing pleasure and perusal. So excited. Alright everybody, one last run. Slay the streamer. It's a uh, reboot with Mod the Spire enabled. Would love an edit of the close calls during that ladder. That might be beyond me personally, but I would be super interested in making that happen. Newman Sang, thank you so much for those 300 bits. Watching from all the way over in Japan. Glad you enjoyed that, uh, that gloriousness. Is that one Ascension 18 defect giant head fight highlighted and on YouTube? It's definitely been highlighted, Pearly Whirly. I definitely highlighted that run. I think I called it, like, the best or the most difficult run of Spire I've ever played. The world speed run record. 0 to 20. Holy heck. Holy heck. Oh, you mean this? Oh, you meant this giant head. <laughs> it's, it's actually <laughs> hilarious, uh, Pearly Whirly, that within the ladder streak, I have to, you have to be more specific than the Ascension 18 defect giant head fight that almost killed you. <laughs> We're talking about uh, this one. We actually only took eight damage, despite how terrifying this was. How many total subs did I get in that crazy hype train? According to Streamlabs, we have gained 314 subs today, which is a lot of subs. And I'm pretty sure we just unlocked like three new emote slots. Genuinely. 
I, I don't have any words for how much support you all just showed me. It's a, it's a, it's a good feeling. The kabunkening. Speech! Give that man a speech! Commander, we've just received the support of another council member. Alpha Fuddle, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the council. Heck. Mm. Yuck. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, I'm gonna reboot Spire, and then we're gonna do a round of Slay the Streamer, which is a, a channel-originated minigame where the goal is, if the Spire can't slay me, how about chat? We'll be starting a run with Watcher. I get to pick 10 cards from a set of 30, and then chat chooses the card picks and the boss relics uh, uh, with the intent to kill me, with the intent to end the run. Let's do it up. Secret is to not choose any cards. Who made Slay the Spare? Streamer, Slay the Streamer was made by Chronometrics. Resident uh, modder and the artist of several of our emotes. Um, and regular on the channel, along with some input from me as to what we wanted in the game here. So this is Slay the Streamer, chat versus Bail Lord. We're gonna play on Ascension 15. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right account here. Chat, chat. Hey, SD89, thanks for those grads. Been a long time coming. Been a long time coming. Today's the day, today's the day chat finally gets me. With Watcher, I have no idea how this is gonna go with Watcher. We're going to play on Ascension 15 here, and this is To the Heart. Let's do it up. So right from the very beginning, you get to choose my starting bonus in chat there. So number zero, number one, number two, and number three. Whatever you type into the chat gets voted towards. Whatever ends up with the most votes is the winning option and gets automatically selected. You don't have the ability to change your vote once you make it. Uh, in the event that you need to vote twice for the same option in quick succession, like we got multiple card picks in a row going on, um, then you can still register a vote by typing like number three and then any text after that ends up ignored. So you could be like, number three because memes. And that still registers as a vote for number three. You do need to put the hashtag. That's right, Jepsis. Yes, the hashtag is required for your vote to be registered. But any comment starting with hashtag number and then anything after that counts as a valid vote. So I choose a starting deck here made of 10 of these cards. Oh, Vault Devotion. And then chat tries to ruin that. Because they're rude. Chat tries to ruin that. Uh, definitely gonna take Vault and Devotion, because Watcher Rares are good. I like Sash Whip, I like Wallop. Some Scry is probably gonna be good. Um, let's take a Bowling Bash. I want Wrath at all. I'm sure I'll be given Wrath. Blah, excuse me. I'm sure chat will give me Wrath. Let's see if reality is good. I want an exit. Take a Flying Sleeves with Devotion. Of the third eye. And... One just lucky? Here's my starting deck. Two Third Eyes, Just Lucky, Flying Sleeve, Deceive Reality, Bowling Bash, Vault, Devotion, Sash Whip, Wallop. And 
Uh-oh, chat might have shot themselves in the foot with a busted crown. Gain an energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. <laughs> well, that's going to make for some pretty funny options. You either add a card or you don't. <laughs> the restart. Let's, we'll, we'll, <laughs> I, might, I might actually honor that, right? Because you don't get any options anymore. You don't get any options anymore. Never seen so happy to see Crown in his life. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hold on. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna at least look at the first shop. But this does seem like maybe an unfair advantage for me. I'm gonna put that out there. Might be a little unfair. What will two gang do now? Will they, would they add a... Yeah, there's not enough options here, right? Literally not enough options. Add, skip, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Alright, skip would have prevailed. I'm gonna take a look at the shop. Choose a card. <laughs> Doesn't even say choose the worst card like it normally does. Just choose a card. Upgrade a card. All right, shot. What do you got? All right. I'll uh, I'll I'll pitch that one, and we'll call that one a win for chat. This busted crown is way strong. Let's do that again. Do that again. It's a draw! <laughs> I mean, Chet's free, to, Chet's free to vote for Swap. I've actually, in all my time playing... Of support, we are extremely oh, that is actually, choose a curse for a colorless card. In all my time playing uh, Slay the Streamer, I, I think Chet has only not voted for this option, like, maybe one time. I hear a sub. Something happened in there. Noonsang, thank you so much for the four months. Witch Prime support. Super duper heckin' appreciated. Alright. This time I might get a better deck, though. Drink. I like this. So two empty bodies, tantrum. I'll take the wreath of flame and the flying sleeves. Three empty bodies. Satrap's good. Protect is good. Pulling bash is gonna be good. Perfect. Totally perfect. All right. So I got an injury and one of these three cards. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Chaos, chaos. The mayhem. The mayhem. <laughs> yeah, you could have skipped that too, just giving me the curse. But I think as a general rule, you're going to want to add cards to this deck to make it extra stinky. So, I'm allowed to do everything at shops, chat controls, everything else, pretty much. I think I need to knock some elites down to get some relics, otherwise I'm not going to get strong enough. Time to sin! Mr. Million! Anytime your name is on screen, any words you say will appear. <laughs> So, you know, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. How are, close are we to the April stream goal? Really close. Um, I don't have an exact number. I'll, I'll have to do, like, a lot of totaling to figure it out. So I, I quite frankly don't know how close we are. But much, much closer, that's for sure. We got... 300 subs today and two $100 donations. So, you know, add like 500 to that total. The hot madness. 
The Haunt Madness. Just update my title real quick. I can actually probably do the, um... The arithmetic during a... Do the arithmetic while you're voting. Bring steps to 750. Well, there, that's proof of how much math I can do. Right there. That is living proof of how much math I can do. Wait. Not sure what just happened. I definitely played the wrong card. Whoops. Definitely just played the wrong card. I looked away. Oh no. Oh, the synergies are beginning. The anti-synergies. What I'm having a hard time getting the total of is the bits, actually. I have no idea how many bits I got today, but I got a lot. Alright, I'll just add this sub-revenue. Oh, actually. In that case, we are definitely there. <laughs> so we'll just call it, uh... Actually, put the stretch goal up, I guess. Immediately. Time for stretch goal number one. So that goal just got obliterated. Excellent work, Commander. Ridiculous. This council is pleased Ridiculous. to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. A relic? Why, you shouldn't have the almighty boot. There's no way I'm going to say no to that thing. No way, no how, no way. The boot. Behold the boot. The boot. Value. Ultimate boot value. Play the mayhem. That's the kind of guy I am. Hype Train Badge? Current Hype Train Conductor? I don't even know what that is. But I like it. But I like it. The boot is kaboot. Double boot action. What we got going on right here. Double boot action. I got right. Almost a thousand sub points. We are 25 points away. 25 subs away from a yet another sub badge. Sub... sub... Uh, sub emote slot, excuse me. And 1,000 subs? Are you serious? What? What? You what? You what? Oh my. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the store. Go rush down? Rushdown Double Tantrum. Vajra, Sling of Courage. I wish I could afford Commander, all of it. Regrettably, this. our briefs have recently been Say no more, there it is. Your discretion in this matter this, please. is expected. Thank you so much for the 25 additional gift subs, bringing us to 1,000 sub points on the channel. That's ridiculous. How many? Okay, I gotta check something. How many emote slots do I have that are now available? I gotta hire some people. God. Uh, preferences. Partner. Ah. Emote slots. Three new emote slots we just acquired. 
What the heck, ladies and gentlemen? What the heck? What the actual heck? I mean, I have a lesson learned. Whatever. Give me that. Rope tongues are cool. Howdy, fast ass panda! How's it going? Howdy, howdy. Uh, let's see. Da, da, 30 kabillion? Hit the other two! You got it, Meta Joke! Done deal. Friendship beam. Behold, power of friendship and learning. Learning how to play mayhem for cheaper. And learning how to pick up a mob bank, giving me more gold. Whenever I climb a floor, still chaos. Play the top three cards of the draw pile. Very good. And one of these three cards, maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. Master Reality. What do I even have that would be added mid-combat? Not much, right? Ocean cards? It's an ocean of potions. Ceramic Fish. Whenever chat adds a card to my deck, I gain 9 gold? Brilliant. Alright, chat. Which Act 1 boss has the best chance of dunking my face in? Get to choose our potentially most deadly opponent. Good luck since I started streaming said to yourself, Today is the day he beats the ladder strike. Well, thanks for that. Good luck, why fast ass panda. Collective power of belief. Collective power of belief. Alright, it's gonna be one hexaghost. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um a great turn one. <laughs> what was that pun? Hold on. Tuber too closes. <laughs> uh, oh dear. That that was good. That was good. All right. Um, we're strong now. And by we, I mean the Gremlin Dub. Kremlin Ub is now strong. Let's see, if I do this again, this would be 20 times 4. Rah. Got him. Ooh, very nice. Choose the worst card. Even gotta learn a lesson off that now, though. 
Wait. What is this? Chat is skipping to avoid giving me nine gold? Foiled again. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. Voting on card ended. Chose. Skip. Thanks for the money, hee <laughs> hee. Ah! Thanks for the money. Ouch. Actually gonna need to, like, rest. Give me your gold! Give me your rushdown. Give me your gold! <laughs> your blam! What you got for me, chat? What you got for me? Really gotta remove that pain, though. Conclude? Interesting. Are we building, like, the world's worst mayhem deck? Is that the, is that the goal, to kill me with the mayhem? You know I can't resist playing it. What are we doing? This will conclude the run. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Chat. Mm, I'm not gonna learn a lesson here. I'm just gonna murder. Just gonna murder. I'll let y'all add yet another card to this deck. Too powerful. You see, you say that now, but wait until we get to the boss relic. <laughs> it's gonna change pretty quick. It's gonna change pretty quick. Only thing that can kill Watcher is hubris. Well, joke's on you, I don't have hubris installed. Not gonna happen. You can get Pandora's Ba- uh, Actually, no, I think it's prevented from spawning, because it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna fight an elite. Because I'm insane. I'm gonna risk it. Risking it for the biscuit. Biscuit, risk it. No. Uh -oh. <sighs> Stakes have been made. Oh no. Hmm. Stakes may have been made. Be distilled chaos time, but it might have concluded. Well, I think I have to tantrum, flying sleeve lesson learned, then distilled chaos. See, okay, this would be sixteen plus twenty-eight plus twenty-two. Eight plus twenty-two. Fifty. Okay, so we go like this. Boot, though. Save me! Good enough! Oh god. <laughs> we actually would have died if that was Meditate. That was close call, chat. That was a close call. White Beast Statue, give me a potion after every combat, and then one of these three cards. That was definitely spooky. 
This is definitely spooky. Terrified chat. Gotta fight Hexagos with pain. His Brolic doesn't even do anything. Right? Oh god, I oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is such a waste to do 44 damage to a guy with 11 health, but here we are. Turbolam. Boot value. The boot value. Potion. Oh my, that's a lifesaver. That is a lifesaver. The good old double master reality build. Fan favorite. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> Just what I was looking for. It's true, that's nine gold. Hopefully I can make it to the next shop. Let's see. Gonna have a good old sleeperoni here. Alright, Watsi Woo, the synergistic. Bring it. Oh the pain actually makes Hexagos do less damage next turn. <laughs> actually beneficial pain. Interesting. Actually beneficial pain. Some guy just up and killed us 20 times in a row. Big if true. Spire weeps and so shall I. You traitor! You traitor! All right, traitors. Behold the power of boot value. Get out of here. GG nerds. Gonna have to do better than that. Turns out Wreath of Flame Tantrum with an Indignation is actually kind of good. Attack Potion. Hey, that'll be an upgraded attack because I have two Master Realities. But now you get to choose a rare card. Does Watcher have any bad rare... Oh, shut up. Damn it. <laughs> Not again. No... Not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Baylor is kill. Chat is victory. But wait, there's more. 
What's in the boss relic box? Coffee dripper? Calling bell? Violet Lotus. No resting? Get another curse that put us at three curses. Actually, four, technically. Or extra energy when I leave calm stance. Can't, can't quite decide the best way to kill me between these two. Good luck. Good luck. Coffee dripper, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go to a store. That one. Yep, that one. Yep. Not even gonna think about it much. I'm just gonna go to the store. Need to fix deck now. Very now. Uh, let's actually do this. <laughs> You can't do that. That's illegal. That's what they all say. <laughs> Got him. Got him. But oh, the cards cost zero. That, that's because I had um swivel in play. Which made my next attack cost zero, so all, all of the attacks in her hand were temporarily zero, but that wears off as soon as you play one of them. This deck is such hot garbage right now. <laughs> Three Master Realities. Still not the worst card in the deck. Let's add a study to us. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> Obviously. Can't take this regal pillow, damn it. You leave. Maybe you? Definitely you. Possibly you? Discovery seems cool, too. Actually, Orichalcum seems like a lifesaver. I'm gonna buy Orichalcum. <laughs> buy in my turn without any block gain six. Could be a, a big difference maker. Could be a big difference maker. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, the good memory. Yes. Take that over the ancient pot. Old snap, dodge and roll with cycle. See, these are the kinds of cards I can get behind. None of these fancy schmancy enter a stance that you don't want to be in and generate no block or do any damage. Nonsense. Just good old fashioned block and attack. Perfect. And then recycle, which unfortunately you're not foolish enough to give to me. Too many too many things that I broke with defects. Meditate Recycle? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey, I broke it. Did I win the A20 run? We sure did! The ladder streak has been beaten. At long last, it happened. Hey, Amantastrophe. Thanks for those congrats. It's a great day. Today is a good day. Let's lay the spire. Oh. Not a kill. After liquid memories. That'll work.
Hey, it only took me two potions, but with the white beast statue, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, today today has been an incredible day for the channel. Very happy to be here, hanging out with all ya. Past my bedtime, but who gives a heck? So happy. So happy. <laughs> with foreign influence, we might see cards from what? From uh, classes other than Watcher. Who knew? Instead, they gave me card draw. I, I can't. I can't take another curse. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, time to fight elites? Question mark. Luck to me. Luck to me. There's the lung sight, Orotic, and Kenshru. Bring it. You nerds. See, that would be 19. So that would kill. What if Bowling Bash 33 plus 19? Fifty two exactly. Okay. Then I don't play this. What work, Alcum? But that I cannot rest. Totally almost hit that conclude. Hmm. Juzu Bracelet. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Perfect. Perfect. Regen Potion also perfect. Defragment? Maybe not perfect. <laughs> Can I have the heat sinks, please, with all these master realities? Come on. One time. One time. One time. <laughs> Feel your play is a little unfocused. I'd say so. I'd say so. Can't, uh, can't rest. So I'll upgrade some of these master realities, I guess, so I can play them for free. <laughs> uh. Blood vial, that's healing. I'll take it. And now chat, which Act 2 boss on Ascension 15 here is going to be the most deadly for this deck between Champ, Collector, Bronze, Tomato? Who do we pick? Well, somebody asked me something there. <clears throat> and then, Anato, no comrade, when am I doing a Slay the Streamer ladder challenge? Let's see if I can win one Slay the Streamer run first, and then maybe we can think about laddering it. <laughs> like, Bronze Automaton is the victor. So that's who I'm up against, assuming we get there. Gotta get through Ocean Librarian, the Enslaver of Slaves, which just kind of seems redundant, really. What have you done to my deck, chat? What have you done? Uh. 
Excellent work, Commander. What have you done? This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. Prince, thank you so much for the two months of tier one support. Very greatly appreciated. Indignation, that's fine. Pretty sure we just go boop. The book go. Oh man. That'll work. Bag of marbles. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies on turn one. Pick up a weak pot. And one of these three cards. Gain 10 block ethereal, deal 5 damage to all enemies x times, or put a card from your hand on top of your drop pile that costs 0 until played. Also does not generate block or view damage. Whoa. Uh Whoa. -oh. Uh -oh. That's the Watcher's whole gimmick setting up! Oh no! Oh no. Remove a card? Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Get rid of that other curse, I guess. The truth is always simple. Wait, that's not what I did. Second chance at fasting here. Move another card. Shame I can't afford Peace Pipe. That would have been nice. To start toking chat's cards left and right. Probably gonna remove this. Document. Commander, we've just received the support here, of another council. Mr. Lemon the Medic, thank you so much for that tier one sub. Welcome to the council. Nice focus, ha! Huh? It's gone now. You're right. Good now leave. Madly shuffling cards on a table. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No! I wanted the omniscience. No. Sad. Big sad. Meditated setup? Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Definitely playing this. Just gotta be that way. I'm stripping artifact, right? Well, that's not true. Try. It's only two artifact, actually. We can do that. Set that up. Definitely did those in the wrong order, though. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that master reality. Get it out of here. Get it out of here.
Excellent. Somehow this is working, like, really well. I don't really understand it. Why is it working well? How does it work? Watch her just that good? I guess so. <laughs> good job, Mayhem. Amazing. Got him. <laughs> the Mayhem Betrayal. The Mayhem Betrayal. GG. <laughs> What was that? What was that? Deus Ex Machina, Burst, and Doppelganger are the picks for this card choice. Do have to take this to the heart to count as a win, to be fair. So, I've got another whole act to go. And keys to pick up. Good luck. Good luck to us. Burst Meditate. I like that. I like it a lot. Alright, another boss relic for chat. What is it going to be between Busted Crown, Runic Dome, Runic Pyramid? Busted Crown giving chat less picks. Probably not what you want to take. Runic Dome prevents me from seeing enemy intents. That's terrifying. Runic Pyramid lets me retain my hand. Probably a little too good. Yeah, it's going to be Runic Dome. Runic Dome all day long. What is the enemy doing? No one knows. Actually not known to science. The Runic Dome. Should I ever pass on Runic Dome? I think so. There's, there's always worse options than Runic Dome. Sometimes. Lots of events. Oh, oh man. Wow, I can have a really uneventful X. Ha! Get him. Get him. No. Bad. Ow. Be between these cards. What will it be? No oh, molten egg. These are just randomly upgraded. Yeah, just randomly upgraded. I like it. I like it a lot. Silver the Boiling Mad. With the name. No, you die. Know you. Steel plus? Prepared Flash of Steel or Intimidate plus? Kind of an interesting set of options here with the Prismatic Shard. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Draw one card, discard one card. I guess a card. So I can avoid giving you any card picks until these two elites. Thanks to Juzu Bracelet? That's ridiculous. Some whining voices. We'll lose max health. Seems fine. 
fall and lose prepared study or just lucky plus? I guess we lose prepared. Juicer bracelet. Juicer bracelet's one of the few situations where I uh like it's got a notable impact on the win rate for Slay the Streamer. Notable. Notable, I tell you. Get them, boys. Enough. I'll do it. Oops, that was actually too much damage. Whatever. Get him. Get. Get out of here. Okay, this turn might hurt a bit. This turn might hurt a bit. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Turnip means I can no longer become frailed, get our potions back, and chat gets to add one of these lovely cards to the deck if they so wish. If they so wish. Shame I don't have that defragment anymore. <laughs> the cold snap could have been good. Chat picks to not give me a card. I respect that choice. Does Master Reality upgrade upgrade the second card from a dupe potion? I don't believe so, no. Don't believe so. See you later, imaginary friend. Thanks for hanging out. Just proceed. Gold, gold gain a relic. Ah. Grab the recall here. Gonna grab the blue key here over the strawberry. We have all three keys. Which boss will it be for Act 3? That is the question. Between Time Eater, Donu and Deca, or the Awakened One. Man, we have a lot of powers, huh? That's 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 saying too much. I don't know who would be the worst. Your pick though. Your pick, chat. Ooh, can't I dunk instantly? Do I have any block at all, actually? Did I win? How do I win? How many powers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six isn't that bad. I am still gonna... That's cool. I am still gonna... do the thing. You know what, chat? You deserve this. Have three cards. Let's make it interesting. Three colorless cards. You want them? Let's do it. I can't even heal that health back. But to counteract the Juzu bracelet, I think this is fair. I think this is fair. Now we got a bomb. <laughs> Just like I'm gonna bomb this run. One bomb acquired. Remember, if you want to vote for the same number you did on the previous card, type something after your vote so that the uh, Twitch chat doesn't block your message. If you try to send the same message twice in 30 seconds, we won't let you. Mind Blast. With Bag of Marbles? Hmm. 
like it. And last but not least, Sadistic Nature, Deep Breath, or Blind number two. <laughs> And just a gentle reminder, nobody's out of light or anything, but do be polite and courteous to one another. We've all got re valid reasons for the picks we're making, and, and because it's funny is totally a, t a valid reason to vote for a card. On either side. Whether for or against. Load me up with powers. Joke's on you guys, I just got 27 gold. Ha ha ha! Card draw? Like me some card draw. Fast is looking a lot better. Although I again really don't have any block. Take <laughs> the master strategy. Pew pew. I like it. Oh right, we have Riddick Dome. I was just like, we're not being attacked. Not being attacked at all. Uh, this is spooky. Okay. Oh, my face, though. Wow, tantrums on the bottom, too. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good. We're gonna play both, um, empty bodies here. Okay. Oh, dear. Chat, no! Flying sleeves, sash whip, empty body, empty body, meditate. Yeah. Get back. Nature. Sadistic nature boot value. It's here. It's real. And it to win it. And it to win it. Let me out of this fight. Oh dear lord, that hurt. Our scorn did their best, and that might have been a mortal wound. I have seven hit points, and I cannot rest, thanks to Coffee Dripper. The ouch. The big ouch. Alright, so I need... Giant head. Actually, I need Mind Bloom into a full heal. 
that works too. The Moai head, heal to full health, lose 12 max health. Let's go. <laughs> rigged. Most rigged this has ever been. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry, chat. Just how it's gotta be. Now! Cannot do that, that is also illegal. Do you even know who I am? The wrong order or whatever. Guaranteed not attacking here. Finally happened. The mayhem meditate. Ow. The pain. The pain. The big ouch. That's the big ouch. Right there. Time to conclude this fight. Okay, Stance Potion is super helpful. Would you like to add one of these three cards to the deck? have a little block as a treat. <laughs> so generous, chat. So generous. I'm gonna pray that I can find some way to win here. It's not looking particularly like Decidedly so. Is it? If so. <laughs> okay, we're at one. One hit point. I got this. No prob. No prob. Easy game, right? All you gotta do, talk to the hand, danger. Then, learn a lesson. This is the multi attack guaranteed, right? So, we're looking at base 10 times 4, we can do 7 times 4. 28. I can block 28. I block 28 next turn. 
Maybe not. I accept that this might kill me. And that that's okay. It's okay if that kills me. Just how it's gotta be. Come on, Tantrum. I believe in the power. You have to offer me. I gotta play one of these. Good, that didn't kill me. That's great news. on top of my draw pile? What did I just play? Oh, setup. Okay, playing setup here. Okay. Into calm, out of calm. Okay, there's the Wrath cards again. Being attacked for 46 this turn. Uh, Wraith of Flame still in the draw pile. It Forehead? Easy game. That's good. Not killing anybody anymore? Um, seven. Seventeen. Twenty-nine. Forty. I need the. Sash whip.
Good potion. Uh, let's see. So now I can block this. Right? Empty body protect gets me there. I still need to block more. Let's play next turn. Try that. Get a master reality. You get. BG. Two thump. Two thump. Deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. It takes more than that to kill me. Prime the staff with divine energy. I can't keep getting away with this. Now all I have to do is beat the heart with this deck. No prob. No prob. Easy game, right? Easy game. <laughs> First beating 820 in the ladder, now this? Is there no end? To this hot nonsense. Is 40 health is, is 40 health gonna be enough to beat Eric Gridlock and Cheesy Taters? The elastive and distinctive, respectively. Uh, do I have any block on turn one at all, in fact? No. No, I don't. I just kinda have to hope that I'm not being attacked by uh, Eric. Gotta get the kill on Cheesy Taters next turn, right? Spear noises. I can't play Tantrum. I'd probably just die. Actually, how much damage is this? 8. Sorry, no, it would, uh, yeah, it would be 8. 8 plus 16. 52? Commander, one of our... Most not valued 16, uh, supporters. 20. Says continued support of the XCOM project. Plus 52 plus 28. That is not enough. Pacific Orange, thank you so much for those nine months of Twitch Prime support. So I'll survive. I'll survive if I don't take him. This has to be the play. Please don't hit me. Good. Now all I gotta do is have the best turn ever. Easy game. Speak down. So we're being attacked for 28 from Cheesy Taters, 21 from Eric Ridlock. Oh. I do not like these hands. One bit. Not one bit. I think it was actually right to end turn in Wrath last turn. From the looks of it. How unfortunate for me. Ouch. 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 Rush down, you betrayed me! Uh-oh. Uh... Looks 
pretty bad. Can't even turn around. That doesn't bode well. That does not bode well. That does not bode well. Help! Help! GG chat. Finally taken down by Eric Gridluck. Them self. GG. Well, as is tradition, I usually gift a sub to whomever takes me out finally. Eric Gridlock's already subbed. Is Cheesy Taters? Cheesy Taters? Basically, everybody is subbed. But you know what? It's been so much generosity. I'll just give out a few random subs. Because why the heck not? Why the heck not? How do I sub to my own channel? How do you even do that? There. Do it like that. Commander, regrettably, our briefs have recently have some gift subs, folks. Your G -G. discretion in this matter is expected. GG. Now everybody is subbed. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Thank you so much, me, for gifting Ted subs to also me. Welcome everybody to the council. Enjoy the emotes community, and of course, you found smug sense of. Superiority. G G. G G. Well, today has been a truly awesome experience, everybody. I can't wait to do this all again, and I can't wait to uh, to see where the stream heads from here. But thank you so so much, everybody, for the incredible support, the dedicated viewership, and the wonderful kindness that you all show me and the stream and each other. This community is truly a wonderful thing and I feel very lucky to have all of you here today. All of you here every day. G Freaking G. I'm gonna throw a raid on over to Sneaky Teak, who is doing the Ladder Street Challenge himself, attempting to beat the heart on every Ascension level back-to-back. -back. I think he gave me a good luck charm. By taking up the Ladder Streak himself, he ensured that my own attempt would be successful next time. So... What a... What a how raid message... One letter down, one to go. Baylor easy. Here's your raid message, chat. Commander, Put that in Sneaky Teeks, chat. I just received the support of another council member. Say hi for me. And thank you so, so much, everyone, truly, for making this stream incredible. Much love to all y'all. We'll be back. We won't be, won't be live tomorrow. Friday is the day off for the stream, but I'll be back on Saturday, where we'll be starting the Encore Reverse Ladder Streak. Maybe having some other fun besides, and then it'll be Variety Sunday after that. So excited, so excited. You are all too dang Generous. Great night, everybody. See y'all later. And ta-ta for now.